All right, take two. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Six Minute Late Wednesday live stream. Apparently, I wasn't live this whole last five minutes, and I've been just babbling <laughs> to myself this whole time. Um, okay, welcome, welcome. We're going to do that redo. I am sorry, Babs and Alex. You're going to have to hear me babble once again for five minutes straight. So, hello, everyone. Welcome to this weekly Wednesday live stream. Normally, I do Wednesday live streams that are related to art topics, whether it's on teaching or if it's on showing um, something more on the business side of uh, art making. But today's gonna be a little different. Today we're re-entering the artist arena. So this is something a little different. I'm gonna pull up the comments too here. There we go. So essentially we have two artists enter the arena and they give themselves a prompt. And, oh, did you have a question, Babs? I saw your hand was raised. No, I'm trying to blot oh, out block the light. The light. <laughs> Ah. Okay, so essentially we have two artists, they're going to enter the arena, and then we're going to basically have them set up four prompts that they have to work with, and both of them have to work with these four prompts, and at the very end, you guys get to vote on who did a better job at executing it creatively and technically, uh, or however else you want to vote on your vote, because it's your vote. So today I have two very special guests that are near and dear to my heart, I love them very much. The first one on our, this side, left side, we have Babs Webb. You want to say hi? Hi. I'm sorry I'm so bright. <laughs> A beacon of light on our right, or on our left. And then on our right, we have Alex Dos Diaz. Hey, y'all. So, as you can see, if you scroll down, you can find links to their Instagram, their shops, and much more. So go follow them. I think they're wonderful artists, and this should be a pretty good battle. So the way that this is going to work... Basically, if you have any comments or questions, you can still tag at Vonner because I'm going to be commentating, moderating, and everything in between, and I am here for you guys, so we're going to be able to watch this together, and hopefully there will be some good bloodshed. But at the very end, like I said, we're going to do a vote, and throughout the stream, I'm going to pull up some polls, have some fun with this, because at the end of the day, this is really fun, but we have to take it kind of seriously because whoever wins the battle wins $50 of my own money. So from what they've been saying before the stream, <laughs> that's, apparently this $50 can go a long way for both of them. <laughs> so <laughs> we don't even need to make a Sean joke this time. So. <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting for it. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get started. Oh, actually, Babs, you get to repick the rock, so maybe you won't get it this time. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, no. Okay. So the way that this All works right, is I'm going to have... I'm gonna, well, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to make sure my hand is not as open this time. There we go. Okay, so Bab, you get to pick a rock, and whoever, if you pick the right rock, you basically get to decide if you want to pick the first prompt or the last prompt. So it's kind of a big decision to make. I'm going to go with the same hand. So your left? In my left, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, 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 uh, the other one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my left. That's my left. No, I know, I know, I know. I'm not I, cheating. I are swear. we cheating again? Are you cheating no, again? I got confused for a second. That was my bad. <laughs> but yeah, so once again, Babs, you have won the rock pick, so you get to pick the first prompt. Okay. I'm gonna write them down um, too. Okay. I I really want to draw like a cabin, like a like a little Ooh. tiny cottage, but like. <laughs> I don't know if, or maybe I should just skip to like the foreground, you know? I mean, I'll just go with Sorceress and I'll, I'll pick something else later, a second one. Wait, so what was your first one? Sorceress. <laughs> Let's go with Sorceress. Sorceress? Okay. You should, Alex looks so nervous for a second. <laughs> yeah, I was confused because. Well, I'm going to pick Sorceress regardless, but I'm trying to think of my second one. But you're like, Cabin, well, I'm like. So, okay, Babs, you really cool. should try to counter whatever Alex says. No, we have to make it good. Well, the way that I look at it is, like, what if Alex picks something that's super in his comfort zone or, like, his realm and is, like, far away from yours? So then clearly he's playing offensive. So then you might play either defensive or offensive back. I mean, back. I feel like that could be an issue, but Alex and I actually have very similar subject matter, so I'm not too nervous. Uh, Babs, I don't know. Like, like, you... Max. You almost said cabin, and Alex like, like squirmed. <laughs> I mean, no, I could do a cabin. No, you, you. Are you kidding me? I've seen castles in the background. A cabin's a simple castle. It's easy. It's fun. 
Okay. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, well, Alex, you get the next choice. What's number two? So we got, what was the first one? Sorceress? Sorceress. Yes. Oh. Uh, mm. Mm. I want to pick an animal. Mm. I think that'd be cool. Uh -huh. But... Uh, owl. Okay. Owl? Mm -hmm. Hey. I right. love owls, so that works for me. Okay. I know, Bab's back to you. Okay. Would it be terrible if I still went with Cabin? <laughs> you can pick I'm whatever trying, you want. No, I, let, me, let me try to think. Because I want a background. We need a background. You don't need anything. You just need to just, we're going to be based out of this thing. I think you're thinking about it like, are you going to put a cabin in it regardless? Because I feel like Mid Journey is going to give us, it could be well, I thought we weren't using Mid Journey. No. I thought it was just. We're yeah. not? No. Yeah. Because that's how yours was, but the Gawky stream oh my. is just the prompt. <laughs> It'll, be It'll be easier. It'll be easier. I was here for the blurb, for the... <laughs> Yeah, okay, all right. Okay, no, okay. Can we do... I'm trying to think of a background. Mountains, maybe? Mountains? Yeah. All right. Locked in. Mountains. Uh. <laughs> Was that a bad one? No, 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 no. It, there's no good or bad. It's just this. <laughs> Babs, you are trying to pick something that you think you can beat Alex with. So mountains is a good choice. No, but I've seen him draw mountains. They're not hard. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. So we have owls, mountains, mm -hmm. mountains, um, sorceress. So you got sorceress, owl, mountains, and the fourth one is? I'm loving this prompt so far. This is pretty good. This is solid. Mm -hmm. It's just... Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know. It could be stop. more of an adjective. You don't have to do a subject matter necessarily. Because I was so like ready to like receive this mid journey mess that I could maybe look into and see whatever you know. And now I'm like, <laughs> oh, this are actual. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, we can do whatever we want here. Freedom. You gotta Should channel your uh, inner SpongeBob and use your imagination. Yeah. yeah. I mm -hmm. feel like I'm getting progressively brighter. I don't know why. <laughs> you just... <laughs> there you go. So for <laughs> those of you who don't know, Babs has a drawing light that's very bright, but we need that light to see it's what she's drawing. It's not even on! This is... Oh. Okay, but... <laughs> it's not even on yet. Oh, wow. I thought it was on. Oh, but... I don't know why I'm getting brighter. I think it's because I need to there close this blind. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call for backup. Oh, so people are giving suggestions here. We got coconuts, carrot, molten, treehouse, two How do you draw molten? Uh, like, is that like lava? Like what yeah. molten? Yeah. That would be I'll difficult, be right though. Back. Well, gonna... I can't pick colors because Babs doesn't know colors. I don't know colors. I have so... no idea what colors are. Um, hmm. I only know three colors. Black, white, gray. Yeah. No, the primaries. Oh. God. Yeah, purple, green, and yellow. Is that what you? <laughs> Those are not the primaries. Okay, good. It was a test. You passed. Um. Hey, Alex. Okay. So, uh, geometrical pattern. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Goes in yeah. hard for the last one. I was like, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, Jesus. All right. Okay. So let Am I me less fade bright? this. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, but you need that no. to draw, don't you? It's just like adjust different. Well, yeah. When you turn the light on, it like oh. readjusts, but oh, well. it's fine. Yeah. Whatever. All right. I tried. So I'm going to transition this here. So I'm going to click that. There we go. So they requested that my face still be in this throughout the call. So I'm going to be right here in the center being the moderator. <laughs> So, are you guys you. ready? So, just to reconfirm here, we got sorceress, owl, mountains, and geometrical pattern. 
Okay. okay. Are you both ready? No, but okay. I'm yeah. never ready, but we're, we're going to do this. Now, you guys were given so much sass this past week, and now you're like, oh, maybe <laughs> I'm ready. I don't know. All right. Are you guys ready? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm start yes. the timer in ready. three, two, one, battle. Okay. So obviously I can do a little bit more of the talking in the first half hour because I know that's the most like conceptual, harder to concentrate one. I think that's why it's easier for me to do the commenting rather than the drawing. So let me look at the comments yeah. here while you guys are starting out here. Actually, okay. I'm going to type it into here as well. So cabin. It's the Mandala Showdown. <laughs> or the Mandela? Mon Mountain. <laughs> An owl. No, not cabin. No cabins. Oh, no cabins. Shoot. Okay, so just mountain sorceress. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right, There's... all right. Something about the cabin, I was sweating a little bit. I don't know why. I should have chosen the cabin then, I guess. I guess you should have, but <laughs> too late now. Um, all right. Oh, hey, Barbara. How are you doing? Oh, thank mm. you so much. Yes, for those of you who don't know, me and Josh got engaged this weekend, actually, at the Ren Fair, and it was a really lovely time. So thank you, everyone, already. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Oh, oh. Now I know how her. people feel on the Great British Bake Off. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I did feel like, like I was on a game show when I did this. Absolutely. You're like that person who runs the blender with the uh, flour and it like splatters everywhere. <laughs> and you're the person that gets so angry you throw away your dish. You're right. <laughs> you need something to judge. Yeah. I know, I saw that. I was like, that guy was an idiot. <laughs> he was so upset. He was. Mm. This is going to be so, so interesting to watch, too. I feel like I get to have fun watching you guys do this. Yeah, you get to have fun watching a struggle. <laughs> oh, it's my favorite thing. Watching my friends struggle just... Mm. <laughs> oh my god, and you have to like stir the pot, remember? You have to make us like angry at each other. Go oh, that's it. right. Here, wait, I can already do it. Ready? Okay. Wow, Alex, you're off to a great start. Babs, did, did you start yet? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sketching. I'm thinking... I'm oh, sketching. put your sketch on the board. What are you doing? <sighs> Very well, David. Or no, Tim. <laughs> now you know. Now you know. <laughs> yeah, now I know you watch too much uh, Shit's Creek. Okay, can you see it? Can, is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we still can't see anything though, but we can see that. Is it too fine. bright? Is it too bright? <laughs> can you guys not see it? No, we can see that. You have yeah, I can see it. Anything. No, there's. I started over because the other sketch page was full of, full of nonsense. Nonsense. But uh, if you guys just want to see what I'm thinking, I can do it real quick. This is what I'm thinking. You know, it's crazy when you hear things that you're like so accustomed to seeing, like owls and stuff like that, and like sorceress being like, mm -hmm. whatever, some feminine-looking wizard, and then you think like, some of the really repeated and used time after time uh imagery that like the industry uses like you know when they do the bird and the face but then they put the bird's eye to match the face of the character so then it looks like mm -hmm. the human's face is like the bird's eye you know what i'm saying yes <laughs> okay so picture like a portrait right and then like a crow's head right in front of the face no i know what you're saying but what is the point <laughs> sorry you're not sorry right. it's okay oh alex is gonna come that. for you babs she's gonna come for you it's interesting how the your mind automatically goes to some of those themes you know like right away because it's like the quickest oh, yeah. thing that comes to mind that you remember you know you kind of put those words in there and then it's like the standard Okay, bird and face, feminine thing, whatever. Well, I feel like we talk about that a lot. Of like when you get these concepts or ideas, your mind goes to like the surface level of like, what's the first thing you think of? And then I think yeah. as artists, it's our job to like dig deeper to create something that's a little more either personal or unique or original. But I mean, we still see a lot of just like 
you know, surface level ideas and you can still execute them well, sure, but I'm I'm always more of a fan of when an artist like really digs into something like more bizarre and interpretable and like, oh yeah, that's great. Yeah, I mean, I think that. All right, I think I got it. <laughs> okay, done. Alex, put your pencil down. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. No, I meant for the idea, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> We're not drawing Jesus. We're drawing an owl and a sorceress. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And mountains. A in mountains. <laughs> in the woods. In the woods. Um, let me see here. Laura says, "Did you guys make your own? Oh, this is for. Did you guys make your own costumes for those engagement photos? Congrats, you guys look like such a lovely couple. We did. Yeah, Josh and I worked the week last week actually most of it on making them. And actually, I don't know if any of you guys have worked with. Uh, it's called EVA foam, but I call it Eva foam." Uh, Eva Foam is the best crafting costume material I have ever worked with in my life. It is very simple. There is a YouTube video. You know what? I'll link it on Discord right now. But she goes over how you can heat foam or heat warp the foam and then it kind of stays in that position when it cools. But then when you use this uh, cement glue, when you attach the two ends of the foam together, it is like instant connection is like permanent. It's not like hot glue that like sometimes still sticks up until it fully dries. And if you use the heat gun, it'll reheat the glue from the glue stick that was like holding it together. So it's not the best, but I will say Eva foam plus cement glue is like the best combination. And then you paint it with Mod Podge to fill in all the pores and then you just paint it. So that's what Josh and I did for our sun and moon heads. And then the, the draping was all just fabric we got at Joanne Fabrics. And I don't know how to sew, surprisingly, even though I'm gay. So instead, I just used, uh, it's called a fabric, <laughs> fabric glue from a, heat, or a glue stick gun. And it worked perfectly, honestly. Like, if you don't know how to sew, it's okay. Because the hot glue, they make one specifically for fabric now. It, it works very, very well. Like, our um, fabrics and drapes held together. And it was all pins, hot glue, and a prayer. So uh, it worked pretty well. I didn't Let's know that sewing so came standard when you come out as gay or something. Um, you know what's funny is I've never really tried it. It would be funny if like I, you put a sewing machine in front of me and I'm like, oh, wow, how did I know how to turn this up here? And <laughs> just, yeah, that would be weird. <laughs> just evolution has brought me to the point where I just know how to sew instinctively. I do that to sew instantly. Yeah. No. Um, let's see here. Okay. Uh, Tigital says, hello. Um, Avenue Teal hello. says, nobody asked, but I'm Team Babs. Dang. That, it's okay. I love you, Avenue Teal. Uh, Is that their name? <laughs> yeah. It's and just then, uh, bound to happen. So sweet. I they just need a bad people. guy. That's the way it is. I mean, you oh, are it's... a guy, so. Okay. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I would just own it, Alex. Just be the villain. I wanted to be the villain. <laughs> well, you already got supporters, so. Well, someone oh else is God. asking, how do we decide on who wins? Like, what points will you be looking at? So I actually don't decide who wins this. You guys get to decide who wins this. I think the best way to vote, though, would be to look at who executed these four prompts in your mind the best in terms of either creativity originality or execution. And I would try to do like a combination of all three. So at the very end of this, I'm not gonna start the voting right away. I'll start it after I get both of their like final images up because last week I uh, battled against Key. You can watch that on YouTube, but Keys was so overblown because she decided to turn her brightness up or they decided to turn their brightness up by like 30. And That's then familiar. it looks yeah. not great. But then literally with us voting started because I thought that was their finished piece. But then once we actually saw the like the real finished one, it was admittedly I it was better than mine. She or Key should have won last week, but because we started the voting early, I took the cake. So I'm technically two and zero right now. But honestly, I feel like that was a tie because Key should have won I... last week. I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna say I voted before she fixed her brightness and then afterwards i was like oh can i change that yeah right <laughs> I, I mean i voted for key I, I was playing it safe i was like who or playing it fair i was like who actually i think executed better and i think key key did better but that was last week's battle we're here for this arena battle 
and you guys can vote on whatever stipulations you guys want, but I would definitely vote more on like creatively and technically. Try not to play favorites because obviously some might be here specifically for Elk, some might here specifically for Babs, but try not to vote with who you're closer with if you know them in real life. Vote for who you think did the better execution. That's all I got. Execution. <laughs> yeah, no friends, just execution. <laughs> well, that's um depressing. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Uh, mm. You okay, Alex? Everything okay over there? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's... Whoa, how did you get that far? And where is this color graphite? I mean, powdered graphite. Or do you put that later on? What are you talking about? The graphite is on here. I mean, yeah, a little bit. It looks like a little gray, but I don't know, because I know you do Yeah, really... that's the start. That's the beginning. That's the beginning. I have a, a, yeah, I have a paintbrush here that I use to darken it. So like, mm. see that? Yeah, I got my tricks. Okay, okay, okay. I got I'm my bag of throw tricks. you off a little bit. Tell me yeah, more are you about trying your to distract me. Like, oh me wow, more. it's it's so good. What tools Please, did you Please tell do? me your process. <laughs> yeah, tell me. Hmm. So really quick, we have some bird facts coming in from one of our uh, commenters. So Jen says, the owl is one of the slowest birds because it is built for stealth. It is also one of the dumber birds because despite its big head, it has a smaller brain than most birds. Whoa, all I owls? make rooms for those eyes. I actually Just... didn't know that. I know that they're like crazy hunters. Some of them are like crazy, but I don't know that they were, I didn't know they were like slow. The nature channel's lying to me. So then um, a different Barbara is asking, I'm curious, did Bab start out with paper covered in graphite? So I guess, Babs, you want to explain what that is? Yeah, yeah so what I did is I put tape around my paper, and then I put a little graphite powder on it um, just to prep it, because that's how I work with powdered graphite. Um, so you can see right now I'm using a subtraction method to subtract out the lighter parts of my piece. And then I'll go in with more graphite to get the darker parts, like um, what I'm doing with the hair right now. Mm. And then I'll take this paintbrush and I will keep layering it like that. And I also have needed erasers that I use. And yeah, I'll just do that for like 16 hours. And also I just posted in the chat, Babs actually has a whole tutorial on Potter Graphite on Babs' YouTube channel, which I just posted. And I will definitely post another video one day. <laughs> what, I would say though, that, tutorial is, that tutorial is like pretty great on like explaining how to work with Potter Graphite. So if any of you are interested, I would go check it out. Not now though, stay, stay here. Yeah, <laughs> stay for the, the battle here. <laughs> I'm enjoying this so much. It's so interesting how you two, your execution from even the beginning sketch is so different. Because like Alex has the sorceress turned away from the camera where yours is like straight on the camera. I'm curious what, I'm sure we'll find out later in the, the process, but like, what does that mean? It means Alex doesn't want to draw a face. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Like, you know low what? Low blow. No, it's that's it's fair. a low blow. <laughs> it's fair. I. It means that I come to this. I love doing this because I get to just explore things without an agenda. I mean, we have some prompts, right? But I'm not trying to do the thing I usually always do. You know. So like, I know you draw a lot of faces. So, I mean, you're going safe for the win. And I'm just like exploring <laughs> what comes out of this prompts, you know? So you're like, well, I'm wow. gonna do what I know how to do in the time Ooh. that I got. That's fair, I get that. Middle Babs, of the road never gets saying? anyone nowhere. Babs, are, are you gonna take that? I mean, I think he needs it. He looks oh. pretty nervous, so. <laughs> oh yeah, my palms do get pretty sweaty, but 
No. Oh, do you know what emoji I should have specifically for these battle streams? I should get like a literal pot stir, like a spoon, so that people can comment or like put the emoji in the stream when they want me to stir the pot a bit more. <laughs> I could be like, Yeah, you gotta stir the pot. Be pot like, pot. Alex, you or uh, Babs, you better pick it up. Alex already has the full figure basically lined out. Basically. <laughs> I don't know what his looks like because I can't see his screen, so. Oh, it's even better. Wait, Alex, can you see Babs or no? Yeah, I can see oh, Babs. Oh, darn it. Okay. You want me to stop? No, no, no. I mean, there's not much there, but I can see what's there. <laughs> Jen says, the sun hates Babs clearly because it decided to obscure the left side of my screen. <laughs> Babs is just a bright beacon of light. Uh, I don't know why it's so bright. I have all the windows closed as much as possible, and it's still blinding. <laughs> oh, well. I think it adds to your whole dynamic theme. It's like your spooky Babs web. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> I think also because I rarely actually get to watch you guys draw from start to finish. This is kind of fun for me to like observe and look at. Yeah. You know what's crazy is like you're not really seeing how I do things. I mean, I guess, yeah, because this is more of like this crazy TV scenario where it's like, okay, you have two and a half hours to create something. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but do you know, I, I do feel like, though, I get to see a little bit more inside your guys' mind on how you work sure. quickly. That's a fact. Yeah, that's true. Okay, damn it. Is that your phone ringtone or are those actual chimes? No, that's my phone ringtone. Oh, that's cute. Considering I'm using it as a camera right now, not super cute, but, you know. And then for those watching, just so you know, at some point, uh, they told me they're going to speak in Spanish so that I can't understand what they're saying. Well, way to ruin the surprise. Now we're not even going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> not worth it anymore. JK. Ah, que muñeco. Muñeco? Yeah. What are you, but like not in a, the best possible way. An elderly way. person? You're an elderly man calling him a muñeco? Yeah, but not like that, you know? Just like <laughs> what a character, you know? Uh. So, Babs, when you do start your pieces, you do like a light covering of Potographer. You don't go that dark. Uh, yeah. It's just oh, light. Gosh. And then I'll darken it up if it needs to be darkened. But, you know... Well, you got to cover those mistakes somehow, so I guess you're going to make it dark. Oh, you know. Listen, I'm just <laughs> playing to what I was asked to play, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Alex? I really hope that you have a fun time with all your Photoshop tools. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you. you use the mirror tool and all the other... No, that you have, because I'm coming for you. None of that. No, that. I mean, I could, but I wanted to be fair, you know, whatever that means. Yeah. So. No, Alex, everything's at your disposal here. Throw everything. Why can't at I it. hear anything? I know you can't. You can't hear me. I'm ready for this to be a joke about like I can't hear you trash talk. Oh, there we <laughs> but, go. Uh, I disconnected. <laughs> I thought she was going to say something like, you're not worth my time listening to. Yeah, yeah. I was waiting for it. I was like, oh, boy. Classic. Yeah. Avenue Teal says, damn, there's more smack talk than the last battle. Oh, these two have been wanting to go at it for a little while. Yeah. We're friends. <laughs> Frenemies. More like Frenemies. it. Actually, I'm almost more curious to see when... Because uh, Alex wants to battle, or Sean wants to battle Alex next month. I think that one will have the most smack talk. Dude. Actually, I don't know. I feel guy. like you guys are pretty pretty heavy, though, too, on smack talking. That guy, man. It's going to be great. <laughs> Barbara says, sounds like you're all very good friends. I think that's why these streams are going to be so much fun to do. Because we all talk a lot outside of 
obviously doing these streams and we draw together on Thursdays usually. Uh, so like we already know each other pretty well. So I think this battle, we can just have fun with it and really get some smack talk going. Mm. I want to do something with this mountains, you know, and not just be like, boo, 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 mountains. You was, know? That a, was that shade towards Babs? <laughs> Oh, it's no, it was no shade. Fans. It was like, oh no, 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 no. I mean, I know. No, I'm not. I'm not here to compliment Babs, so I'm not going to say anything. All I was <laughs> saying is that I'm not trying to just do a cup out, but it might be, you know, and that's okay. I it do like just... the the curveball of geometric pattern because now I'm watching Babs start to incorporate. I'm trying to it. figure out what I want to do with it. I feel like I want it like somewhere in here. Yeah. I feel like that, that I mean, that's a difficult kind of last minute prompt to throw in there because then you have to include it somewhere in like fabric. Or I guess if you want to get like, I don't know, do it somewhere in the sky or something, but well, I'm curious to see what I you guys feel do. like when I think of sorceress, I think of like sorceries and like putting it like as like something in the air would have been more like on the nose. So I'm trying to go mm. with something maybe a little funner we'll see, we'll see. Uh, josh, josh just says on the topic of smack talk make sure to smack the like button <laughs> <laughs> he ain't wrong though it does help with the algorithm so if you could that'd be wonderful but also if you want to see more of these r serena battles because i already have a few more set up because i think these are just really fun and especially me not actually like doing the battle itself i love this position i always uh joked back in the day that I wanted to run one of those uh, competition shows, but for art. So like being one of the judges that gets to be like, okay, this week's theme is like fantasy elves. And you know, you're 12 people from around the world uh, that came on the show, give their interpretation and then they get critiqued. And then the bottom two have to like, do like a 30 to a minute or like a hour battle for their lives. And then the weaker one gets eliminated. To me, this is like a dream job position. So I want to do this more and more and more because I, I love this so much. <laughs> uh, Felix says, I'm finally finishing that AI piece from a few weeks back. So I have so many unfinished pieces right now. I think Babs can definitely relate to that one. Oh my god, yes. I've been starting a lot of pieces lately and nothing is done. I saw a meme that was like a Matrix meme. And it was like Morpheus with the two pills. And then I said, saw that one. You know, talk okay, cool. Yeah. I don't have to explain it then. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it says it says and then they show Neo's face and then it says artist. So you're supposed to be Neo. And oh, then yeah. they go back to Morpheus and he's like, Did you just take both pills? <laughs> but it's like about like the blue pill was starting new work and the red pill was finishing the work you already started. But it was like wow. both. Hilarious. I feel like most artists would pick neither. <laughs> I don't know. I'm definitely the both right now. Usually I finish the works that I start. I'm usually a really. finisher as well. I feel like I like to take drawings to completion. Unless if I specified them as a warm-up or like something specifically that's not like a finished illustration. Yeah. yeah. I guess it depends on what i'm working on if i'm not really feeling it then maybe i feel like i think it was scott fisher i was talking to him one time and then he was explaining how he gets the most work when he has a, done when he has a lot of projects going on because he procrastinates mm -hmm. from one and goes to the other to you know so then you yeah. keep kind of shifting that while you procrastinate but you're getting work done in a way so I mean, as long as you're drawing, I think it is helping, but I do think you can get into that bad habit of not finishing pieces. I mean, we know a few people, I'm not going to name names, but like, it, I think it is a detriment because then you have a lot of stacked pieces that are just not finished. Um, and you can't really use those to your benefit when it comes to like the financial side of doing art. And I yeah, think that it is, depends for sure. Yeah. And that's one of the goals I think we have is like being able to create the art we love, obviously, but then being able to be sustained by it is like even better. But if you never finish yeah. pieces, it, it makes it really difficult to do that. Yeah. 
Uh, Babs, Gabrielle Collins says, I'm giving justice to your drawing, Babs, because it doesn't have any boobs. <laughs> or actually, no, they didn't say it specifically to either of you, so I guess both of you. <laughs> I was like, yeah, what happened? I was about to say, how could he back? have boobs if, if he's facing? <laughs> Unless, could... Well, he could get I creative, saying, I guess. Have you ever heard of a little thing called side boob? Oh, There's no... True. I could just put boobs in her back or something. The back of the head. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Jen says, the problem with that approach is that with ADHD is that you pick the less important to finish first. Mm. I I do. I think all of us get into those um, wavelengths sometimes where we just want to like finish things just to finish them. Or even especially if you're like trying to get ahead on social media. I think sometimes we get in the habit of just like doing smaller pieces. Maybe they're not like big established things that really speak volumes to who we are as an artist, but we just want to get things out because we're trying to do the social media climb. So I've been there before. I get it. Yeah. I feel like towards the beginning of the year, I was like trying really hard to finish as many things as possible. And now I'm just to the point where I just kind of want to like work on getting better. So I've been doing like a lot of studies and stuff like that. Cause I don't want to like my greatest fear is stagnation. Like being one of those artists that's like, they've plateaued. Yeah. Wait, I what really kind of studies don't... are you doing? I didn't know this. I mean, just study studies. I don't know. Like, you know, you know just studies. studies that people do when they want to learn how to draw things. Yeah, yeah, you should but... do actually, if you start your YouTube, if you want to do like a live stream where it's like a live study, I'll join you on that. I'll do a live stream. Oh yeah, I would love to do that with you. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm trying, everyone in the chat, I'm trying to convince all my friends to be more active on YouTube because I love the idea of like streaming on each other's platforms. Mm -hmm. So try to encourage them as well if you're in the chat. Also, um, Alex, I think I've realized you love talents. Oh my, it's just like the best. It's just like such natural, like, curls like waves stuff like that it's just mm -hmm. so fun the shapes themselves and you can make them like well you just saw what i was working on before this too and i had some of them i think that's also why but then i added some in our last one yeah uh-huh mm. but owls birds you know they kind of not all but yeah it's a lot of fun for sure Actually, I'm surprised you're going with so many wings, too, because I remember you talking a few weeks back that you were, like, done with angel wings. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Is that I've also been doing, like, some morning stuff, like, just, like, 20, 30 minutes, just drawing in my sketchbook. I want to get some traditional pieces done, and mm -hmm. I kind of wanted to be free flow, right? As much as possible. Yeah. And I just did a character with, like, six wings on its head. <laughs> and I thought, but I was, you know what? I think... I've been more on the search of finding a shape language with them that works for me that mm. you can tell they're relatively like they're wings, but they're not perfectly anatomical wings. Like they, will they work? I don't know. You know, do, do people with wings in their heads need them to fly? Maybe, but maybe not these characters. I think yeah. we can get caught up so easily on the idea of making everything so anatomically correct or realistic or whatever that it stunts your um creativity yeah 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 when i think sure. sometimes if you rely too much on realism i feel like you can kind of tell when looking at a piece when someone overly relied on a reference yeah uh, oh yeah especially when it's like a face or like a pose because it, it just feels off you know i've seen i've seen professional artists like their finished work and i straight up can call out the reference that they use for uh -huh. that whole head or for that and i'm and that kind of like woof it kind of kills me no pun mm. intended with the wolf and the wolf but <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah it's rough uh felix says you don't or you feel like you keep improving so you don't even want to do a finished piece because it feels like if you do it in a few weeks you will be even better at doing it that's the uh -huh. cycle i'm talking about i had a roommate like five yeah. years ago or seven years ago um and all he did was studies like all he did was studies and i kind of get why like because that's the mentality of well if i keep just improving my skill level then when i finally am ready to do an illustration it'll like take on those skill levels that I'm learning. 
The problem is, I feel, is you never feel ready to start doing illustrations then. I always tell when I used to teach, I would say, do your studies in your illustration work. So that way, if you like really want to practice getting better at like, let's say drawing owls or a specific flower, include those elements in a drawing that you're working on. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, you might look at it and be like, oh, I wish I would have done that or better or whatever next. But then literally next time you do it, it'll just be that much better then because you know what needs to be improved upon. I mean, at least you still have a finished piece because more often than not, I'm assuming you guys feel this too, um, you are your own worst critic. So when you're looking at your piece, you might be judging like, oh, that owl's eye is slightly not in the position it would be anatomically. But most people looking at it may not recognize that or might not even see that as a fault. They might see it as more of like a stylistic choice. So just something to keep in mind. I don't know how you feel, Babs, but I think there's something to be said about getting to that finished piece. Like you have to finish a piece or in other words, I think you and I talked about this a little bit about it, but like you abandon work. You don't never really mm -hmm. finish it. You're just, okay, yeah. I've done enough on this and now I'm moving on to the next thing. And I think that that's how you get into that step, get into that saving part of your whatever life game you're playing or whatever, like breaking away from that and moving on to the next thing allows you for your mind to disconnect and re-engage with new information. Kind of like when you go to sleep, I think you, you're you thinking about a problem throughout the day and then you can't figure out the solution, but then you go to sleep and you wake up and you're like, oh, there it is. Like, I know exactly what I need is. So throughout night, you kind of process that, tr that problem. So relating that back to what we're talking about, I think that finishing a piece allows your brain to process everything you put into that and then you can apply that naturally to the next piece or a study or whatever you're doing you know mm -hmm. yeah oh cat's here oh hello kitty how are you doing oh cat hey you hey, can't yo. wait to meet cat in person mm -hmm. cat how many pull-ups can you do more than you yeah i know that that's a fact <laughs> you didn't that wasn't even a burn that was like cruel <laughs> hard facts but i'm getting better at them that's why i'm asking okay <laughs> no longer human says i made a sketch of the challenge a really fun concepts put together can't wait to see what everyone else comes up with at the end of the stream yeah, I noticed some other people are saying they're working on these four concepts. So I'm curious how other people interpreted. And for those of you who are coming into the stream now, the four prompts were sorceress, owl, mountains, and geometrical pattern. And I should also mention, you guys have two hours left. Nice. Two hours? Just two hours? Yep. First half hour yeah. is gone. I'm going to put a timer because I really want to make sure. Last time... I talk too much. Ah, yeah, don't worry. I'll keep doing these half hour uh, okay, great. notifications and I'll give you like a 15, 10, 5 as well. Perfect. Yeah. You know, uh, have you started reading? Have you, do you read manga at all, Babs? I used to. Not really anymore. Mm. I feel like I didn't, never really read a lot like manga or well, in general, I guess, to be honest. Um, but um, I started reading Berserk now. Mm. Oh, I've always wanted to read it. Dude, it's crazy. I just I just got the first like big. Yeah, I have that. I just finished sucker. that actually. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I'll just peek into it for a second. And before I knew it, it was like 20 minutes gone. And I was just like going through it. It was like a lot of fun. Actually, Alex, I'm curious how many things you feel are referenced from Berserk because I right now have three and already I'm like, how much did Berserk influence that I have not been aware of, you know? I It definitely influenced Bloodborne a lot. I know oh, that. And, yeah. A cloud? And cloud sword right off the bat, you know, first Right off pages, the bat. Whatever, yeah. yeah. But then, 
Oh, you probably haven't gotten to it yet. I'll probably talk to you after you finish the black book. But there's a villain that reminds me of something very specifically from Spirited Away. And I'm like, oh. did Miyazaki read Berserk? I'm like, what? what is happening right now? What is everything just influenced from Berserk that I love? That's it crazy. is. It's, it's very violent, though. It is wildly yeah. violent. Well, the first page, you open the page and you're like, whoa, okay. That just straight to action, literally. And I was like, okay. I, I kind of like, like though, when that happens, where like they let you know right away what kind of book this mm -hmm. is going to be. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, I'm curious what you think of that. Actually, I just started reading. You're right. I don't know if you can see this. So did you see the oh, witch. where? witches? It's by the artist, what's his name? Uh, Daisuke. Um, but he did mm -hmm. the, have you seen the movie Children of the Sea? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't so finished I found it, out I that was actually a manga. And then I found out that he has this collection of witch stories um, that I, when I was at Barnes & Noble just perusing. And I picked it up and I was like, wait, I know this artist. Um, so I'm reading it right now. It is fascinating. I, I just feel like I've been spoiled with content recently. I've just been seeing a lot that's been really good. I've been reading a lot that's been really good. Like Witch Hat Atelier is like phenomenal. So I'm just, I'm a happy Oh, that's camper. good. I feel like for a while you were complaining that you weren't seeing anything that you liked. Yeah, mm -hmm. end of last year, I was kind of like really bummed. And I felt like things were not sticking the landing. Like even things that I kind of liked, like what was that vampire show on Netflix that was really popular? Midnight Mass. Like mm -hmm. I, I love it visually in a lot of aspects, but I didn't like, I didn't think it stuck the landing. And then we were watching, oh, even like Squid Game, I actually kind of enjoyed the concept and where it was going, but then that was another one. I didn't feel like stuck the landing. And it was like one after the next. Oh, and then the Nicole Kidman one. And... That crazy one. I know exactly that's what I was gonna say. Oh, that was, was like eight... so disappointing. Was it Eight Perfect Strangers or something? Josh, could something. you, if you're listening, what was that one called? It was, but literally it was like, nine in a row oh and then the white lotus on hbo it was just like one after the next like just euphoria after for you just i haven't euphoria. seen any of these things really yeah i don't watch a lot of tv to be honest i watch a lot of documentaries oh. actually i lied mm. oh. any anything interesting uh prehistoric planet was really good i loved it feathered dinosaurs mm. fucking awesome i haven't seen um, that one yet did you see Our Father on Netflix? No. The one like where the you one find about out the Mormons? No, no, I mean, there was one on that that was kind of fascinating, but it was the one where it was a doctor that worked at a sperm bank and uh, years later it found out that he was actually just giving his sperm to hundreds <sighs> of women. What? Yeah. It's really bad. And then what's even worse is it's like a tri-city area that the doctor would give his sperm uh, to these women. So a lot of like kids that were growing up didn't know that they could possibly be dating their brother or sister because they <sighs> thought it was like, you know, their parents. Oh, it's terrible. So then apparently the people that live in this area, they had to like check to make sure that their kids weren't dating their, you know, cousins. Oh my God. <laughs> Can you imagine it's that? Insane. No, it is so bad. And then what was even worse is the doctor um, didn't really apologize for it. And he didn't really like take a lot of blame because in his religion, he sees it as like spreading his seed, which is really gross. So That's disgusting. I know. But what was worse is they took him to trial and he like basically got off. Like he, <laughs> bad way to put it, but he got like yeah. a couple months of time or something it was something where it was like really short and then now he, he's free again and i'm like this because it, it's not like in the books is a law like there's nothing illegal because no one ever thought that this would happen <laughs> you know what i mean yeah nobody thought somebody would fucking do that oh yeah so it disgusting oh wait hold on we got some comments here you ready yes okay so um jen says geometrical patterns uh it's like remembering back to when school forced you to do triangles and squares i feel like i was never really forced to do triangle oh you know what uh, i guess in geometry yeah we had to use a compass and all that stuff so i guess that makes sense um avenue teal says i'm gonna bet that babs is gonna be done before the 10 minute mark she looks pretty far along already yeah i don't know about that i could <laughs> detail this thing forever well, it's only like one inch by two inches or something. So 
like, <laughs> you know, how much can you yeah. put in? Yeah, <laughs> miniatures are an art of their own, I guess you could say, huh? Yeah, I guess you could say. It's I kind of funny because Alex actually does coasters. Yeah. <laughs> I have, actually, but... I really like your coasters. Thank yeah, you. they're good. Thanks. I feel... That was for the Nucleus show, right? Yeah. It's cool because I know, like, how unperfect they can be, right? And, like, being so OCD about things, it's really a freeing experience to just do them. And how attached, how much more attached you can get to a traditional piece than you can get to a digital piece, mm -hmm. like, period. And I think, like, sometimes I didn't want to send them. I was like, oh, I kind of want to keep this. This looks kind of mm -hmm. cool. Um, oh, I never do that with my art. I always look at my <laughs> art and I'm like, you're a failure. Get out of here. <laughs> Abandoned. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, there's a question for both of you. Ready? Mm. Okay. All right, Barbara's asking, I once heard the claim that if you use reference material, you can't actually draw. Do you guys agree? It confused me a lot, especially since I rely on it a lot in my own drawings with poses and such. Oh. I think it depends on whether or not you can, like, use the reference in a way that, like, you're not just using reference. Like when I draw, I use a lot of reference, but I always, well, first off, I can never find reference of exactly what I want, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think a good artist doesn't need reference of exactly what they want. They just need enough reference to get to where they want. And I think that's the good mark of an artist. If you can use your reference to just get to where you're going, instead of relying on it to do exactly what you want it to do, there's like a difference. Yeah, I would say along those lines, think about it like, even though I don't draw, we we're talking about the wings, I think like, I still look at a lot of reference of many different wings, and then it kind of helps me understand how they work. So it's like a studying of the subject to mm -hmm. understand how to place marks to create something similar to that. Um, and then there are some things that, yeah, maybe use part of things. Sometimes uh, there have been projects that you definitely Frankenstein things. And I think that's perfectly fine as well. It's just a matter of what the project is for, what you're trying to do. I think that if you're solving a very specific uh, problem, then you're going to need very specific reference for that. So. And I think we talked a little bit about this when we did our thing, Tim, that you still, if you can't draw, you can't draw. It doesn't matter whether you have the best reference or not, even if you're tracing mm -hmm. it, even if you're tracing it, which like, again, I don't necessarily see anything wrong with that as long as you're not just tracing the reference for the sake of like, just copying that thing. And then that, that's what you call, you know, your final piece. So it's a matter of what it's for, I think too mm -hmm. i totally agree also we have a comment here from melinda dos Dias. oh she... god who's that person <laughs> uh she says i wish his coasters could actually be used for coasting like drinks that condensate yeah <laughs> i know do you not coat them with anything them. huh do you not coat them with anything you could yeah, put yeah, resin on them yeah, you could put yeah, resin on them I, you could, right? I guess that's a good, yeah. But I paint him in gouache and ink. And uh, I, love I the... really have to go to the bathroom. I cannot wait. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you want to pause the time? You want to pause? No, the... no, it's fine. You keep going. I, I'm gonna <laughs> hands down. It's the pressure. I get it. No, Alex, that that is on Babs. You do not have to slow down your time. No, 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 Babs no, 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 no. Has to go I know I don't have to, but. We'll just wait a little bit. <laughs> what a gentleman. Look at him here. We'll just wait, wait. zoom out. Let me see what you got going on here. I feel like I'm way more ahead than I was the first time we did what we did. I think maybe yes. I was looking too much into the mid journey things. So maybe that helped that we didn't have it. I feel like she's either, I feel like the coat should be more near her front though, or like the cape. I feel like her neck feels really pushed out. Like <laughs> That's what we're going for. Oh, well, I'm a guard. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a good battle. The fact that we still have like an hour 45 left and I can already kind of see where 
both of yours will go. Although, you have the advantage here that you could throw down some color. I know. I was thinking about it, but I, I just wanted to, you know, I might... What I'm going to do is I'm going to definitely put in some value in here so that you can tell what it is. Because sometimes the it's a little bit abstract with the wings in the back and stuff. And, you know, value mm -hmm. will really help readability. Oh, sorry about that. I just okay, stop talking. felt like I was going to die. <laughs> For us. Sorry. No, no, no. We're talking crap on you, you know, but now you're back. So, yeah. So oh, it's okay. I figured as much. <laughs> Um, yeah, he waited for you to come back. He didn't draw. He put his pencil down. Oh, Alex. Even though he definitely well, did not have to. That was not in the rules. Well, I don't want anybody to be like, oh, he only won the $50 because he got those <laughs> extra 30 seconds. You know? <laughs> like, get out of here. Yeah, I love that you're already like, oh, when I win the $50. Well, you got to be delusional somewhat. <laughs> I, I'm not even going to argue that. I think that's facts, actually. I mean, I have no illusions of winning. I just want to make something I'm proud of. I already told Tim this. Uh, well, that's, that's not what you said more. before the stream. <laughs> <laughs> that I is what I said. That's exactly what I said. That's a total order right there. Uh -huh. But as long as I cannot embarrass myself live on YouTube, that's fine with me. Let it go. Yeah. You know? Really quick, someone's asking what the time in the middle represents. So basically, Alex and Babs had two and a half hours to do this concept. So when that timer runs out, that's when it ends. They have to put their pencils down and we take a vote. And you guys get to vote on who you think won the battle and wins that coveted $50. $50,000. 50. You know what's funny though, is that you're not actually gonna get the $50 bill. I'm just gonna Venmo you guys. <laughs> The What's 50 the is just for show. It's for the Actually, you know what? I could sign the bill, and the next time you, I, I see you guys, so that way you can like have it, and it's like a special $50. I want but then you guys go, yeah. don't get to sign it, or then you're going to spend it, though. You want to spend this. No, I'll vent you guys. Yeah, I need all that Sean Price merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> Poor and Sean. the roasting of Sean Price has begun. <laughs> no, no, it's over. It's over. That was a quick bake. Well, you could say that. I mean... With fifty dollars, though, you could literally buy his entire booth and still have change left over. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> now he has a backdrop, so we can't really. But before no. we could, I think. Thankfully, he's been raising his prices. But I guess that's something for artists listening right now. Don't undersell yourself. Uh, actually, no. Yes. At, Sean's much better about pricing nowadays. But man, before all of us, really, all of us go through a phase of. I mean, I remember I was selling my prints. I mean, they were small ones at the time, but they were ten bucks. And it just, I, I don't know. It felt like at the time I thought I was charging a lot for like an original piece of art, but looking back, I'm like, I, I, I should have been charging more. You gotta go yeah, through it though. Go ahead, sorry. No, I was just saying, you gotta go through it. I think every artist has to go through the period of finding their self worth in their craft and I think pricing accordingly. But I, I think it does take some time to find that confidence because most artists we are shy we're introverted we're weird and going to a public space that you're selling things face to face yeah it's hard to stand by like a intense price tag and be like yep this is how much you have to pay me for my drawings and i think yeah. that just comes with time i think my it's also was hard because you. like people will not shy away from telling you if they think it's overpriced mm -hmm. oh yeah all the Especially time. Especially children. But I feel like Sean was born with this. It's literally his last name. <laughs> Hard to price. When he has such a good name, Sean Price, but now he wants to, to brand himself as Sean D. Price. Oh, well, because there's a rapper or something. I don't yeah. know. That's tough. I mean, I am I like don't necessarily love my last name, but not many Dos Dias out there, so... But people still confuse me with like they're like dos centos dos and i'm like no just the oh. s like yeah so that's happened no i Two think days. you both have good names Two. and like babs i don't think you could have lucked out with a better last name for your wife. right i know i i did get pretty lucky with that i do like my last name i i think it's funny though because when i was a kid you know kids will try to bully you for anything mm -hmm. i would have like bullies be like 
Barbara, what are you going to be for Halloween? A spider web? And I'd be like, yes. <laughs> Thank Barbara. you. Barbara. Were you? No. Oh. I was a cat every year. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Babs, you would make such a good spider. But the web is a thing. I don't, I guess. I don't really dress up for Halloween anymore. Well, you're Halloween 24 <laughs> 7. That's true. <laughs> I, my aesthetic is definitely dead on arrival. Mm hmm. Um, Jen says, by the way, I was at a tiny market and I got some incredible tree carved mushrooms. They look like. Or they remind me of how chess pieces are sometimes carved. I don't think I've ever ever seen a natural cut chess board before with like pieces that are hand carved. Mm. That'd be pretty cool though. And then Fem says, I just want to make something that I'm proud of is what I started saying when I start to feel like I'm losing. Oh. <gasps> Who said that? Ah! Fem. I mean, I felt like I was losing from the start, so that's fair. I can't oh, deny don't, that. Don't no. No. That's but, it. That Even the comments are throwing try. shade. I'm still going to give it my all. Well, when Stir. you open that door, you know. Oh, my self-esteem has always been low. But don't worry. I'm in therapy. I'm working on it. Oh, Babs. Babs, so for the chat, Babs doesn't realize she's like one of the best living artists alive today. <laughs> one day she will. One day. Well, why would you say that, though? That's such a lie. Because... Do I ever lie? I only speak facts to the point where it comes back and bites me sometimes. <laughs> yeah, facts. Facts. <laughs> uh, Corey says, I want to have a cool art name for branding and stuff, but I also hate the idea of changing everything I've already had made. Mm. Ooh, yeah, if you already use your name for branding, at this point, I'm telling you, just keep it. That was a yeah. piece of advice I got a long time ago, and I've been curious about like going from Von Art to Timothy Von Rieden, but at this point I think I'm just going to stick with Von Art. But um, they said if you're like trying to come up with a name for like a username for Twitter or Instagram or whatever, they said always use your name because it's something you'll never regret in the long run. And I kind of agree with that actually. Yeah, I agree with that too. I feel like I was iffy to use my name at first because I didn't really see how cool my name was at first. But now I'm really glad that I went with it because I could have chosen something real dumb. What well, can, can I, I can I ask what you had in mind? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, how about this? Chosen. Tell me what was your AOL screen name. I can't remember. <gasps> it was so long ago. Oh. I was I Digivon. Oh, hi Casper. Sorry, go Alex. Mm -mm. Um. I don't know if I told you this, but I feel like I have, but um, on Tumblr, I was supposedly like, in my mind, it was sweet tear was oh, like yeah. the, right? <laughs> but, you know, I was showing this, this was like years later, I had that Tumblr account for years and I just stopped using it eventually. And I, I remember how it came up that I was showing it to Melinda and then she was like, that says sweat not sweet yeah <laughs> i was like no way you know like are you kidding me and i like had to look it up and I, yeah i guess i was sweat tear this whole time and not sweet tear as i thought i was that's what happens when you're great though you yeah know. i kind of like sweat tear better Sweat tear better you think so yeah hmm well it worked for years i guess <laughs> or it didn't because <laughs> it's not like i had anything worth talking about tumblr wise uh, fem says it's not shade but i love your work babs i'm just seeing it as a little push for you to go for the win <laughs> oh okay i gotta win for these people that like me in the chat i gotta <clears throat> gotta win for them there you go Tigel says, am I the only one hearing the drag race rattle sound when shade gets thrown? For those of you who don't know, it's like a dum 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 <laughs> Basically, whenever someone throws shade, they do this sound effect in RuPaul's. And yeah, I probably should get one of those buttons. That would be funny to play or like to push. Because <laughs> they actually sell the button that you can buy, so you can just have it on you when you throw shade against people. 
Is that from the from the show? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Melon and I wanted to start watching this show, but then we put it on and then it was like all stars. And I'm like, is it a different one before that? Or is all stars a new one? Or has it always been all stars? Like No, so they have the normal season and then all stars is when they bring back um, contestants for like the second try at winning but the okay. new season season seven of all stars is the best season that's ever been out ever because they only brought back winners of previous seasons oh no, sick yeah and it's so good yeah we were like i don't know these people look like they're already tip top of the game mm -hmm. so they are I, so good I think this right yeah Okay, okay. Um, Jen says you should just pick your gamer name. That never goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ever, ever. The, do you know what's really bad is I just use Von Art in all my video game stuff. So there will be times where I remember I was playing League of Legends and my name on League of Legends was Von Art. So someone would get really upset with me, but then they would look me up and be like, oh, you actually do art. Like you have an Instagram. I was like, oh, yeah, I do. They're like, um, then why are you playing League of Legends? <laughs> <laughs> it was like oh uninten God. it was like unintentional shade from someone that was also playing League of Legends. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. They're like, should be making some work or something? Yeah. Like, why are you on League of Legends? <laughs> they say as they play League of Legends. Yeah, right. Speaking of, there's literally a mockumentary on what was it, Paramount? It's called uh The Players. And it's literally a mockumentary following professional esport gamers specifically playing League of Legends and it is it has been my favorite thing this year in terms of television. I think it's so good. Me and Josh look forward to it every Thursday. Really? Well, that mix with like then RuPaul's All-Stars is on Friday. So like remember when I was saying I feel like I've just been showered with like good entertainment lately like even outside of movies and just television every week I, we just get those two and it's it's delightful every single time. It's so good. All right, just so you guys know, you're approaching an hour and a half. So we have an hour and a half. Yep. So we, okay, so we're almost at an hour. Mm hmm. Mm. Halfway mark. Alex, I'll be really surprised if you don't throw some color, though, because I, I do agree with the value thing, but like, if you're going digital, you might as well play to the strengths of digital. Well, that's like assuming. See, that's okay. Wow, I did not expect that coming from you. <laughs> oh man! Digital, uh oh, you awakened the beast. Easy to just throw in some color, right? I mean, you might as it well. Is. It's like there is no it like, is. button. It is, Alex. I'm so it sorry is. to tell you. It's easier. <laughs> You're right. It is easier. It is easier. That doesn't yes. mean that it is just super easy but you know i was talking to tim because you know tim always has sass to say about digital art something to say yeah and um i was telling him that like well the more i think about it the more i feel like yes uh digital can be easier to master but i think traditional's easier to learn mm. Holy. Did I get disconnected? Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, you're good. You're good. I can kind of see what you mean. Yeah. Because, like, if you give somebody with no artistic experience a tablet and a computer with Photoshop, they're not going to have any fucking idea what to do. Yeah, it's so overwhelming. Yeah. Oh, it's I see what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I feel like that's where they both have their strengths. Like, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. I mean, I could always throw some value and then put a gradient map, you know, just like, oh, gradient yeah. map, whatever, done. But you st I just think, like, that doesn't mean it's going to look good. Actually, Alex, you're going to be really surprised to hear this. When I was doing coloring last week against Key, I actually started doing the selection tool method. And I have to admit, it is really nice. I, I think when I get back into color next year, I'm going to start just basically color filling i i didn't realize like because for those of you who don't know i've been watching a lot of like popular artists and how they color recently and most of them use the selection tool and then either paint bucket or just auto fill and i it was so like baffling to me because i was taught how to paint digitally like how you would paint with normal paint um, but it takes way longer and seeing how these artists are like 
finding these new techniques that are just way more efficient. Uh, I think I'm going to try adopting them when I dive back into color. Um, I was talking to someone about this, actually, who were like, yeah, that's very like uh, standard in the industry now mm -hmm. to do the lasso thing. But it gives you such a certain look and you have to be a fan of that look, I think. I mean, because you could lasso your way through the whole piece and then like go in and like try to really render things like you could do that or like give the edges the look that you want for more painterly. Like if you're more graphic, I can see it. I don't I don't know. I don't love the look. I can see the super benefits of like a quicker concept art looking piece, you know, but for something more meticulous, something more like clean, something that looks like it was like graphically done for those purposes, then I, I don't know that it, I don't know that it benefits everyone. Yes, I do think like, I'm not going to just rely on the color fill. I do think you have to do like a paint over after, like kind of how Devin does it a little bit with like adding texture on top. But it is it is just interesting to me of how different the digital art landscape has changed even in the last 10 years. For sure. Yeah. I mean, like, like 20 years ago, this wasn't even really a thing. Um, so it is interesting how fast uh, this is not only like came about, but then like basically dominated the industry. And now I feel like it's kind of dominating social media and like mainstream art. Yeah. If you think about it, it's like the demands, the incredible demands that these people go through when they work in the industry and house or anything like that. And they're like, you got to do 200 paintings by next week. So they're going to figure out how to throw those values and colors as fast as possible. They're not worried about the cleanliness or details or the, you know, it's, some of them look really sharp if you can use that and slow it down. But, you know, they're just trying to get images out there, not, mm -hmm. um, you know, master render pieces, you know, they're a concept. They're not necessarily like a finished painting, but you can definitely take them to finish painting. I mean, Devin, that's what Devin does, right? So. Yeah. <laughs> Felix says, uh, you are doing amazing, sweaty. <laughs> sweaty. Not sweetie. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know, good old those... sweaty. Yeah. It's just one of those things. Oh, Babs, I was so caught up on reading the comments. I didn't realize you took out the horns. Wow. Yeah, I decided that another owl would be better. More owl. More owl. Ouch. That sounds like feedback from a client. Could we get more owl? <laughs> yeah, more owl, less person. <laughs> less horns, more owl. Uh, Felix says, I think digital is faster so you can get through your beginner artist phase quicker, but traditional forces you to brute force certain things that will train your art muscles harder. Like liquify alone can save you hours and hours. I think that's why like it might sound like I'm super harsh on digital, but I think it's me and Alex on the whole argument of which one is easier. But I do think I, I can't deny that there's a lot of credit and skill in digital alone. Like kind of like what Babs is learning or saying, learning Photoshop is not an easy task. Actually, it's incredibly daunting. And like, I'm reprinting my uh, card decks through Bicycle and they're forcing me to use Illustrator to vectorize my, my gold stamping and my embossing. And like trying to learn Illustrator quickly is very difficult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, where I guess, yeah, picking up a pencil and paper, yeah, it's not like the learning curve is, there's almost none at all. Um, it's then just like learning the techniques obviously, but yeah, I had to like look up tutorials on Illustrator and be like, how do I learn to rasterize or unrasterize an image to vectorize it? And yeah, it's not easy. It's different than Photoshop even. Yeah, Illustrator is the worst. People are like, oh, it's so weird. I just even hate how they're like, oh, illustration, Illustrator. And you're like, no, it doesn't work. And they're like, Photoshop is for photo manipulation and render. And then, you know, illustrators for illustrators. And you're like, no, mm -hmm. I feel like illustrator is such a strong, like designers tool. Um, but I don't yeah, know. Like graphic about... designers. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. Like type and stuff like that. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, and I don't know, like vector things have. S uh, it, it's just difficult. <laughs> I think those comments for I think they want Babs to say it, but it's saying not now, sweaty mommy is cyber cyberbullying. <laughs> No, I I do love cyberbullying, Alex. It's true. <laughs> en español y en inglés. Yeah, con sus brujerías. <laughs> con mis pinches brujerías. Con sus pinches brujerías. That's right. Sí. Y si hay latinoamericanos viéndonos, bienvenidos. Hello, welcome. Gracias bienvenidos. por estar aquí con nosotros. A esta porquería que se llama arte. Wow, que le llaman arte, no sé. Sí. What? Tim, I know you know Spanish, but don't translate. It's fine. It's better that way. Ah. I I can only pick up certain words that you guys are saying. My Spanish is rusty. Whenever I talk to my parents, like my dad doesn't really know English, so I can only talk to him in Spanish. And sometimes I'll just sit there and be like, wow. This yeah. is terrible. Really? Oh, he'll tell you it's terrible? Uh, you lose a language if you don't use it all the time, Tim. Oh, yeah, and I don't yeah, know yeah, a lot yeah, of Spanish yeah. speakers here in Denver. Yeah, but don't you talk to your family? Yeah, no. not, all, not all the time, though. Hmm. They're far away. I'm trying to get my mom to learn English better. She really understands. She's gotten a lot better. So then it's like a weird dilemma where, like, okay, if I talk to her in Spanish, then she'll understand me and I'll continue to kind of, you know, keep that. But then oh, I'm yeah. trying to, for her to get more accustomed to learn English and to naturally just talk, you know, so that gets tricky. Yeah. My dad knows like basic English, I would say, but not, he's definitely not fluent, but he's definitely better than he was. Because when I was a kid, he couldn't speak English at all. Like, he refused to speak. Mm. But, you know, we lived in Texas in a Mexican city. So everybody spoke Spanish. How? So, but you knew, you learned English as a little kid, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How, well, you were, were you born here? Yeah. Okay. I was born right. here, but, like, it's complicated because I was born here, but then we moved back to Mexico because my mom literally only had me here and then went back. Like she didn't live here. Anchor baby, you know. Anchor right. baby? <laughs> You've never heard that? No. You've never heard of the term anchor baby? So well, why that... would he? Why would he? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So is it basically that you are an American citizen and that you... I anchor anchored my parents. to this country? Or you anchor them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anchor baby. Wait, you might have to educate me here. So how does that work where because you were born so, here, then they become citizens? Yes. If you were born in the United States, it doesn't matter where your parents are from. You are a citizen. But what about your parents? Your parents will... So I don't necessarily know how it works anymore. Mm, but right. if, if you were an anchor baby, your parents can stay here or to take care of you. Oh. And like they have a better chance of getting a residency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So interesting. Yeah. I came here when I was 13. So I had to kind of like go through middle school not knowing, you know, English at all, like kind of learning on the fly. And it was frustrating because I really wanted to learn as fast as possible. So whenever like I would hang out with people and they would, you know, it was like people who spoke English, but they, um, they still prefer to talk in Spanish, you know, and I, I kind of got sick of that really fast. I'm like, dude, I'm trying to learn like English. So like, you're not helping me right now. Like mm -hmm. I'm not, yeah, I want to hang out, but I also want to learn English like as fast as possible. Like if I'm not learning it as I'm moving, you know, then like, I'm just kind of wasting my time here. So that was something that definitely kind of like stirred me t towards like hanging out with certain people and not so much with others, but yeah. Mm. 
What do you think was the biggest difference coming from Uruguay to America? Only everything. <laughs> like in what terms? I guess because I obviously I've been in Wisconsin most of my life, so mm -hmm. I don't really know what it would actually feel like to come from Uruguay specifically. Yeah, like I don't know the culture at all from what I know, like at all. It's like, I li I mean, I lived in the capital, but even then it was still very kind of rural. So like mm. people were still, even though there were cars and everything, they're, they're stuck where like, they're still using a lot of really old cars. But um, the, well, at least they were then, because things obviously have changed now. Like, And this is like 2001, you know, but I think the things that still were noticeably different is like, there were horses in the streets and carriages with yeah, cars. Yeah, that was in Torreon too. Oh. Yeah, yeah, with cars, you know? Um, and like, people were, we were kids, but we were like always barefoot in the streets, like just, like we didn't have a soccer ball. We'll just pick up trash, put it in a bag and put it, tie it really tight and put enough trash and bags together to get a ball. <laughs> ball and like, that's what we played with. And like that was that was it you know we were outside climbing trees oh. doing that stuff um so i think uh my one nephew had a nintendo like a family nintendo like a, just like the original and we would always go there and play mario maybe you know but mm -hmm. it was a lot more of just outside openness and just being out there and things have changed a lot obviously for everybody you know because even people who were born here on that time they even got to do more things outside than kids do now i guess yeah, yeah. that's true we're kind of yeah. a part of this crazy cool generation where we kind of grew up with the internet and video games at the same time mm -hmm. and i feel like we didn't have to go through the horrible part of social media like we got it when we were already a little bit more emotionally developed like maturely in a sense where i couldn't mm -hmm. imagine having instagram if i was in high school now trying to like you know get ahead as an artist i just i couldn't i literally couldn't even imagine that no no way are you kidding me i didn't even know what illustration was till i was in college here like i i knew kind of like i like games and i like the x-men or whatever you know mm -hmm. but i didn't know what that was called i mean that's anything information but even like comics i didn't know illustration was a thing so and this is like early 2000s so like i can't even imagine like just opening an instagram and seeing everything and anything like at that age like man it's kind of crazy really plus i feel like the first social medias were much more creative based like Thinking about how MySpace was compared to how restrictive all of our other social media yeah. are, it's insane. I like, mean, MySpace, yeah. you could do whatever the fuck you wanted. You could be as obnoxious as you wanted, and oh, nobody and some could people stop did. you. Some people's backgrounds were loud. <laughs> and you could even have music play when you open up their yeah. profile. Do you remember Love that? that. I kind of miss that, honestly. I feel like there's a certain freedom to that. Like, the... The old mm -hmm. internet was so creative because it was like a final frontier kind of place. And now it's all neutered and corporate and ugh. I just It'd be kind of cool if they did bring that back it. though a little bit. Like imagine if they go to your Instagram or Twitter page and you could like set a I mean it would be kind of annoying for some people. It's obnoxious. Sure. It was obnoxious. Yeah, but you could disable it. There, yeah, there like the, you, you could disable it. it for sure. True, true. Um oh Hannah's asking. Oh hey Hannah says, Where are you from, Alex? specific uruguay so uruguay and uh montevideo was where i was born and that's like the capital um yeah and i moved to the states when i was 13 so yeah it was odd and the only word i knew how to say was you're welcome because it, it was a weird <laughs> like sounding thing like something in uruguay sounded like similar to that and i was trying to like you're welcome and I don't know why, but those words kind of stuck with me. Oh. But quickly I learned. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's a sound thing, right? What well, I mean, I guess quickly I learned. I think we talked about this last time, how I learned like 
damn and i was saying damn at everything and every class you learn a new word and you just use it every time you just damn, keep using damn, it damn. to get better and to remember it so someone saying you guys talk like you're ancient beings from the primordial days we I are am. <laughs> i am i have been around forever I'm as old as the sky, old as the sea. It's not that, but it's like how exponentially <laughs> things change and how quickly things change. Because for we're not old, whatever. I mean, I'm not prime, but <laughs> yeah. All right, old the, man. Um, the growing up for us, I think it was like at the peak of the change, but then you went one plus mm -hmm. two and then two plus, it just exponentially grew from there. So really quickly went from internet, MySpace, like, I don't know, it just ramped up crazy, you know? And I mean, and for me, it feels even more of a quicker thing because I didn't have anything as a kid there. It was very, like I said, we'll just collect trash and that's how we played with. Like as mm -hmm. for goalies, we use her like chancletas, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what we had. But um, he, and then you come here and then it's like everything. And then compared to now, everything then it's like nothing compared to now. Like my, maybe no, 2001, MySpace was, was MySpace a thing, 2001? I don't know. I don't think so. I want to say think no. MySpace was the thing, it's definitely a thing in 2003, it was definitely a thing in 2005 I think is when I got into yeah. it. I think. Yeah, but like it just exponentially ramped up from there so fast, you know? So that's why it feels like, like people now are born and they have it. They have everything that we now have yeah. and it's changing so fast, right? But then it was like nothing, a little bit, a lot, it's a lot, a lot, you know? It's like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. What, what are those other apps that try to come along and they fail? Vero or whatever. First on Vivo or Vero. Yeah. And then it was some other one that came out now. And um, yeah, it's it's kind of crazy, really. You, did you see the that TikTok of the dad explaining to his like 12-year-old daughter what AOL was? And she was like <laughs> baffled. And then him trying to explain that sometimes you would get the CDs in the mail. And then you had to like oh, yeah. pop them into the machine. And then you could get like a downloadable like trial period, like two weeks. It's crazy. So different. And like, I, we, I grew discs. up with, right? I remember them too. They were like different. They used like collect them. Um, but we grew up with like VHS primarily. And nowadays, most people to get everything digital. You know, like mm -hmm. how, look how fast it changed from like a physical component of owning a movie or even music to literally it basically all being digitized. And even with video games, I mean, literally there were cartridges that we had to like blow into and like Q-tip when they got dirty to nowadays you just download it over the internet in like 10 minutes and you have it. You don't even have to yeah. go to a store. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. And everything's translated now. Are you kidding me? When I was a kid, I played games in Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> and then I you have to look it up like, in the dictionary. Option, that's the thing. So I just go with the second option. Like, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, everyone's talking about how they wish there was a new art social media platform, like just for artists and then... Um, Casey said, thank God I joined at the right time. I missed MySpace and having to make everyone that visits my page listen to Rage Against the Machine, Bulls on Parade mm. live version, lol. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, then, God, yeah, I missed that. We have a question for both of you. And actually, while I'm asking, I might go to the bathroom as well. So are you ready? The question is from London Shay. I'm new to the stream, but how did you get into art? Be right back. I'll let you go first, Alex, because I'm curious. Oh, man. How did I get into art? Um, I think, like, um, I knew what I, I knew that I like games, and but I think that's, like, every kid. Most kids, I guess. Um, but I remember, I remember a couple of things very distinctly, like, that stick with me. And it's obviously the things where like there someone tells you that you're doing you did a really good job. It's like a compliment and then he encourages you to or you get praised or encourages to kind of like chase after that. But I definitely remember coloring a page and and like a coloring book or something. And then as a kid, you just scribble over everything. <laughs> and um, my aunt, she was like, oh, 
you gotta outline the shapes and then color inside of them. And uh, I did that and I was like, oh, like I just, it just looks automatically so much better <laughs> than like throwing a bunch of colors on top of his face. But, mm -hmm. and then I was like kind of praised for it a little bit. And then I knew that was the thing I wanted to continue to do that, you know, gave you a little bit of that praise. And obviously it feels good to get complimented. So I continue to do that. But um, the other thing that pushed me was my, uh, I had an uncle who's only like a year older than me. He was like, um, and a year or two. And we'll always mm -hmm. hang out. And he was also into art. And he got to go to some art classes I didn't get to go. So I got to see some of his work. And then he would always do like fan art at the time, like Dragon Ball Z and like uh, Roroni Kenshin, Roroni Kenshin, whatever, were like some of the things that we were watching. And that's what we would um, try to do, make fan art out of or Night of the Zodiac 2. <clears throat> one of my favorite shows like ever as a kid and so we competed we got competitive so I guess it's a little bit of competition a little bit of praise a little bit of like I already like this stuff but I you know didn't start making my own stuff till later on as an adult in the beginning it was always like I want to draw more of these characters that I love and I watch um, as a kid you know so yeah. but yeah how about you uh I feel like I started drawing as an escape mechanism because mm. I didn't actually go through like the culture shock that you went through, but I was always perpetually stuck in between two cultures. Mm. I was always not Mexican enough to fit in with my family in the States, but I also wasn't quite American enough to fit in with a lot of the American kids that I went to school with. Mm. So art was kind of a way for me to drown out everything where I could have control, where it didn't matter if I didn't fit in. So I guess that's where my fascination came. And I was always really interested in just drawing my own thing. I didn't really like drawing other people's ideas, and I'm still this way, which is why it's laughable that I decided to become an illustrator because I don't like listening to other people's ideas. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. It's just definitely an escape mechanism. I've always been attracted to escape mechanisms, like anything. So like RPGs and stuff like that, or yeah. like the Sims. even going out on hikes, like anything to like make me escape from the present moment that I'm not happy with. And so that's just what art became. It was just a way to escape. Yeah, I, I think that definitely we all do that, you know, too. I mean, not having much to do for me, you know, there, I think that that's the thing that gives me a little bit of fear, too, for like young people growing up. I mean, uh, whatever. Again, I don't want to sound like an old geezer, but for like anybody <laughs> who's born now with like all these distractions, you know, because like you explained, right, like it was escapism, but to me also it was like, that's something I did for fun. Like it was cool to like color a page or like draw. And I think it's still kind of I enjoy doing that, to be honest. You know, I think we're thinking like, oh, these kids are born at like 14 or 15, but there's grown up and then there is a lot of um, uh, room for that. But yeah, I remember, you know, having fun with like collecting leaves and painting the one side and then stamping that into paper or like cutting oranges mm -hmm. and fruit and like stamping with that and drawing and all those like it was fun it was cool and it was something that it was also partially escapism partially um a place i like to go not simply from running away from something else but by choice not for not having for lack of choice i guess so yeah well and then uh no longer human in the chat says and praise can go a long way too yeah 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 it does, you know. I mean, look at Gingy. Gingy. Who? Gingy. Uh, you, you never. Oh, you. I. You have yet to watch Evangelion. That's why you don't know. Yeah. Oh, Shinji. Shinji. I said Gingy. Bien español. <laughs> bien. Bien. <laughs> I thought you were saying like Junji, and I was like, no, no, are you talking no, about no, the Jin horror Jin manga artist? I'm like, what? yeah, Shinji Ito. Shinji. Yeah. Shinji. Get in the damn robot. 
Also, he's definitely having a resurgence because I even went to at the Ren Fair. I saw someone wearing a Junji oh. Ito shirt. Oh yeah. Well, and Josh is almost finished with uh, Tomei, and he really likes it. So I'm I kind of want to read one of them too, but I'm also mm-hmm. I do get kind of scared of things, even though I've watched probably more horror movies than most people. Uh, they do kind of still spook me sometimes. They are. I really I had liked. To it. Yeah. I really liked Uzumaki. The spiral one. The spiral one. I think yeah. that's what it's called. Yo, I couldn't finish that. It creeped me out like so bad. Oh, it's so really. Creepy, but it's so it's good. It's great. It's great though. But yeah. Do you know there's actually a movie adaptation? I yes, so. I heard it's coming out soon. No, no, no. That's the anime. Apparently, there's already a movie on Uzumaki specifically. Really? I yeah. heard the. I've heard of the Jinji Ito collection, where All like right. somebody. Or like some company made like a bunch of his mangas or mangas into um, anime, but it wasn't very good. It wasn't well received from what I heard. Mm. Oh, I don't even think I can share this with you because then I'd have to move Discord. No worries, it's okay. I'm gonna share it in the chat though for anyone interested. So it got a splat on Rotten Tomatoes, but yeah, apparently they just did Uzumaki. It's I believe a Japanese movie, but they made it back in like 2000, so it's really old. Well, really, oh. God, me saying really old. It's made in the 2000s. Yeah, see, see. <laughs> oh, you know what? I also started reading. So, um, well, Zach, he's a friend of ours. And um, he was a friend of Melinda's. And I met him through uh, her. And um, he, they hang, they've they been friends since they were like middle school, I believe. And he's a really cool dude. And um Last time they hang out, she came back and she's like, oh, Zach sent you these. And it was like two comics. It's called Kill Six Billion Demons or something like that. Awesome. Like, I'm not really big. Of, I'm not really like a comic fan. Like, I think the most comics I have are like fables because James Jean did the covers. That's all I wanted <laughs> yeah. them. And then I read them and I was like, oh, this is really good. <laughs> but yeah, and it's amazing. It's so good. It's, it's called uh, Kill Six Billion Demons. And uh, it was uh-huh. a web web comic i think first and then uh image picked it up i think it's five books all together but there's only four out in print right now but the art is amazing and it's like at first i was kind of like it's like weird at first i was a little bit thrown off by it but the more i read the story and then like it's just like i can't even explain it you have to look it up so i do definitely recommend it um oh yeah this is fun super creative and there's it's, so much involvement and so much along the lines of like the things that i or you know that i already kind of like to dive into dreams and other religions and kind of symbolism and all that kind of stuff and i think it's like just fantastic right up my alley with that so actually could you bring it to dragon con i kind of want to piece through it yeah absolutely mm-hmm. i just bought i finished reading the first book and then i I was like, oh, I got to buy it. I just bought all four of them. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going through a second book now. And I was like, whoa, like it just, I don't know how to describe it other than that it's like, it's right up my alley. It's pretty crazy. I don't know. Yeah. Also, you guys are nearing the one hour remaining mark, just so you know. Dun dun. Oh, we have dun, an hour dun. left. Oh my gosh. Okay, someone's guessing what type of music we would like <laughs> based on mm. our personality. So, Avenue Teal is saying uh, Babs could be something like Epica. I don't even know what that is. But then huh. he said Tim might be a rip on the postal service. And then uh. Alex <laughs> Alex is indie folk. <laughs> indie. Oh. <laughs> if That's I had give cool. wild assumptions not knowing us, I would say like Babs would be something more like Evanescence. Alex would be oh something like... Oh my god. <laughs> I can see it. I can Wake see it. me up inside. <laughs> I would say Alex would be something like heavy metal, like Meta- not Metallica. What's some or like corn or? Uh... Oh, he'd be the insane clown Slipknot. I see. I grew up with corn and slip. Yeah, I grew up with that. I mean, not too far off with Postal Service for me, though. I would say that's actually kind of in the wheelhouse. Man, Postal Service takes me back. Right. I remember when I was super into them when I was in like middle school and high school. Mm-hmm. It's crazy that they're still around. Right. 
What are I always feel to? bad for musicians that like really peaked in their like teens or early twenties because that must really suck. Then being in your thirties and forties and people only know you for that one song you made twenty five years ago. Yeah. Yeah, that's bad. I mean, it's rough. the same thing can happen to illustrators though. Oh, for sure. It must be real. Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? You're right. I mean, even like. What? That's what they were trying to do to James Jean, right? And when he was trying to go into the gallery world, they were like, nah, you got to do that illustrative stuff. People know you for that. People love mm -hmm. that. You can't do this new, more experimental stuff. Yeah. Well, I guess, wait, we each have to give an answer. Who, who is, like, if you had to pick one musician or band to represent your musical taste, who or whom Ooh. would it be? Oh, that's easy. 50 grand. 50 cent. <laughs> no, fifty grand. Ah, uh, well, that's Definitely more than fifty, 50 cents. Yes, that's but... more than fifty cents. <laughs> I would love that if you said, "Yeah, fifty cents." That's easy, Eminem. Mm. Who is fifty grand? I think I've shown them to you before. Oh, is it like the? God, I don't even want to pretend to describe this online. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find their. Hold on. <laughs> Give me the song that you showed me, and maybe I'll, it'll spark my memory. I can't even remember which one I showed you, but uh, one of my favorite songs by him, I would say, is. Uh, oh, there's a few good ones. But uh, I'm trying to think of one that you would like specifically. Um, like probably... Scary All Over? Scary All Over is really good. I think you'd really like that one. Oh, yeah. Babs, if... Yeah, this is what I describe, I think, encompassing you. Oh, I forgot they can hear my desktop. I got to stop doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my video taken down. Yeah, I can't hear it. So. Yeah, everybody, go listen to Fifty Grand. He's great. <laughs> oh, look who joined the stream. We got Inkwell Illustrations, also known as Dustin, one of our fellow companions. Dustin, Dustin. where is D Sang? Where is my yeah. queen? <laughs> we don't care about <laughs> Dustin. <laughs> They're like, Dustin. no, Dang. Dustin That's said. Alex getting murdered twice in a row. Shameful. <laughs> he can't even see what Alex is working on, can he? Yeah. Oh, because well, he's watching the stream. Well, what do you he's mean? just trying to. He's just trying to. He's trying to beat you down, Alex. Don't listen to the haters. I'm yeah. telling you, be the, Sorry, be the real Kanye that you are. It's just crazy because, like, no matter what I do, you're just gonna look way more finished. Why? You have Just the power post. of God and digital on your side. Yeah, well. <laughs> I have nothing to say. No, dude, just, okay, this is what I do when I work digitally. Put in a solid color in your background and then work negatively. <laughs> like I'm doing right now. And that'll fucking... Kill it. You'll, you'll beat me in like Kill less it. than 10 minutes. 30 seconds. How much time we got left? You still got a whole hour. It's fifty-seven minutes left. Yeah, Alex, right. you're gonna gonna leave me begging for mercy here. Uh, you're right. There's Wait, a lot actually, we gotta catch up on. I shouldn't be saying this. I was shit. like, what? I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, I'll let you keep going. <laughs> well, you know, okay, no. You know how you say you always have, feel the need to like father people. Yeah. I always feel the need to mother people. So if mm. I see people that are like down in the dumps, I'm like. No, you got this, uh, Jeff. Oh, you mean Sean? Jeff. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you mean Sean? Oh, Sang is here. Sang says I was here first. <gasps> and you didn't even announce her presence. Oh my god. Well, she man. commented after. Ninja. Here, wait, wait, hold on. We got we got to catch up on some things here. Um, Jen says I am back from dinner. What insults did I miss in the last forty-five minutes? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Horrible insults. Actually, it's a little awkward in here for how much blood was shed between the two. 
Yeah, I don't want to look at Alex ever again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then also, um, someone activated the donation voice. <laughs> so they it was Tijel. Um, but you guys couldn't hear it, nor could you see it on the screen. But they were commenting about how they're they're gonna actually be the winners, and oh. <laughs> they're gonna win well, the fifty fuck. bucks. <laughs> A new challenger approaches. for all. Yeah, what is this? Get out of here. Yeah, right. And then Casey said, yeah. "This is the problem with art battles. Artists just want to naturally help each other." LOL. No, we don't. You I, know, I, can't stand it. I feel like it could go both ways because, especially in the con artist scene. I feel like it's a little bit more competitive in like a negative sense than it is a positive one. It depends for sure. It depends on who it's with. Like I think our crew is like very supportive towards one another. I would hope, I think. At least I our can. crew? Yeah. But yeah. I could see people, you know, seeing it as, oh well they only talk to each other or it's exclusive or something, but it's we try not to be like that. Yeah, I my mean, room you is not try. exclusive, baby. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, what does that mean, Babs? <laughs> I'm talking to the audience. My love is not exclusive, baby. Do not worry. Mother also, is here for you. Ba- <laughs> <laughs> Mama Web. Mama, Mama Web is going to spin uh... her web of yeah. love. Yeah. Um, don't forget, That's what though, I do. Babs. I spin webs of love, and then I suffocate people. Babs, cool. I need you to remember that you still have to add a some geometrical pattern. Oh, I'm gonna do it in the um, the dress, but the thing is, I keep darkening the dress, so I keep going over the pattern. So I'm just like, <laughs> I'll save that for last. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems like people want me to get like the the burn or the shade sound effect, so I can just play it whenever I want when you guys throw shade at each other. Yo, I get Dustin up in here. What's it gonna do? A fish? Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I wanna see you go up against Dustin now. Oh, I would everybody love to just see wants you to it. see me lose. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, you insult people, you talk a big game. Well, it's not really a big game when you're just laughing about it. But yeah, he sucks. I can't. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, he came up in here like, oh, Alex getting wrecked twice in a row. What do you want me to say? Just stand there and be like, yeah, you know, actually, I thought I stand was Stand there and take good, it, but... Alex. Stand there and take uh, it. Yeah, but that would be the big man thing to do. And, you know, I'm just tall. You're, you're just a little <laughs> guy on the inside. A little baby. A little well, baby baby. boy. Boys are just boys. Uh, Dustin says, bring it, big boy. Yeah, see? <laughs> Oh, you two fighting each other would be so funny. We should we should set that one up too. Yeah, but Alex is just I... gonna fight all of his friends. Alex can only do gotta... one a month, or else he'll be overbooked. <laughs> They're just like, all right, let's just all secretly form a pack and beat the shit out of Alex, and then uh, <laughs> keep him in in lockdown. <laughs> mm-hmm. Crap. Sorry, I didn't mean to curse. Also, oh no, you're fine. Um, I figured the battles would be a little bit more contentious. Um, Wait, also, are we allowed to curse? Because I've been very careful. I've been a very good girl. Are there sort things of. you want to say to Alex <laughs> that you've yes. been holding back? I've been holding back. Yeah, okay, get them out now. <laughs> no, no, it's okay, it's okay. It's just funner if they come out naturally. True. Also, weird side injection here. Do you know that they they made uh, a new fruit called the, or maybe not new, new to me. Um, I went to the store and I got a pluot. Do you know what a pluot is? A what? This. Pluot? Do you see this beautiful thing? No, it looks like a red kiwi. Well, it's a plum and an apricot had a baby together. And this is what they formed. Whoa. And they're so good. I want to try mm-hmm. that. I love exotic fruit. Oh, Beth. What's the most exotic fruit you try tried besides watermelon crushing? <sighs> Interesting that you say <laughs> that now. Um, I guess probably star fruit I thought was pretty exotic. Wow. Okay. Judgment. So much judgment. The most judgment. exotic fruit you've ever tasted? <laughs> Ah, no, I'm not going to say it. 
I was like, ah. um, where is this going? Ah, Ruth, cover your ears, children. Oreos. There you go. Uh, Melinda's in the chat saying, I will be his only friend left out of legality. <laughs> <laughs> See? This is how I am the way I am. <laughs> oh, don't blame Melinda. Oh, no, I'm just saying. Blame yourself. Blame yeah. your life choices. <laughs> I, do. I just think you're fun to battle. I think you bring some good energy to a battle. You just have to. Also, by the way, I just want to clarify that I love Sean Price very much. <laughs> Why are you about to roast him? <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna say? <laughs> Nothing. I just think like, I just think. Oh, is that what you feel about him? Nothing. Absolutely Such a good nothing. energy, and he just. Just so genuine. And that's why it's easy to like, you know. Bully him. Bully him, yeah. Because you say, oh, ha ha, you're being funny. That's okay. And then he'll cry about it. Well, yeah. When maybe. nobody's looking. <laughs> I don't know. I try not to, you know. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it just can't be helped. Oh, Sang says that's the only friend he needs. See. Who? Oh, Sean? <laughs> no, Sang. No, no, no. Sean is the only friend? No, Melinda. Because Melinda was oh. saying he's oh, only oh. friend oh. love. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Obviously. Dustin says, well, what if Melinda versus Alex? <laughs> oh, well, Melinda would destroy him. Strength. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not a fair fight at all whatsoever <laughs> if i do battle dustin though i will say my only prerequisite is that he's not allowed to drink pepsi and then we'll see who does I'm better who? art what is what is this an we'll inside see. joke that i'm not understanding a little bit a little bit he who? knows if you know you know right who got on you a know, pepsi you know. rager what's going on literally i want to i want him to feel like a fish out of water <laughs> so it's literally Dustin's for obsessed the with Pepsi. Yeah, he just runs some Pepsi. Like like Philly runs some Duncan, <laughs> which is not true. But yeah. Um also Digital says poor Sean. He's the real winner here. He is, he is, he, he, is he the really real is. winner. He really Boy. is. He's such a good sport about it, you know? Anybody else would get so, like, butthurt about everything, and I think that he is really Alex good is like, well, it. he's got to win at something. I didn't say that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm interpreting when I read minds. No, I think you're just speaking your mind, so that's okay, <laughs> too. <laughs> um, Fem Aww. says, we basically need a regular, or a regular artist battle season, and then an all-star season, which consists of Alex battling everyone else he knows. At the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Yeah, it's just the anime trope, you know? Yeah, tournament style. The tournament you gotta arc. Be, yeah, you gotta be, like, you know, the guy who gets humble, and then, like, he grows from there, you know? What And through the character power of would friendship. That... I'm trying to think of what character that would be, and for some reason my head went to, like, a Naruto character. Like, Rock um, Lee I mean, something. I don't know. I mean, it's definitely a shonen trope for sure. Mm -hmm. But it happens in other shows too. Because um, it's usually either that, because either you have the guy who gets humbled, the, the character, period, who gets humbled and then they learn, or you have the character who's like, oh, I'm just an, the nice guy. I don't know anything. But then you mm -hmm. have the superpower that just beats everybody all the time. So I'd rather be the more interesting character who like, you know, goes through the mud and comes out the other side than the guy who's like, I just walk on water and I don't know why. Yeah. Oh, you mean uh, Goku? I mean, yeah, <laughs> kind of a little bit. Yeah, the Goku trope is strong. He's just like, wow, I'm so nice. Hey, why are you laying on the ground? Because I accidentally killed you. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, also, yeah. Tijel says, uh, or wait, Oh, Sean's the real winner here because he's not here to witness this train wreck. 
<laughs> oh man. I Open feel that bad. door. They'll come through it. Man, I love when the comments are roasting the actual artists participating as well. Yeah. I mean, oh, wait, here's a nice one. always has something to say. Who does? The peanut gallery. Oh yeah, just throw a peanut here and there. Um, Casey says, Babs, do you ever use a particular brand of lead in your pencils? Um, this is very cheap, <laughs> Bic. <laughs> so not right now. I used to I used to use really fancy lead, and then I got lazy, and now I just use cheap shit. I use whatever gets the job done. But I will say that it is easier to work with more expensive lead and more expensive mechanical pencils because they have you know a sharper point I love how you even showed it off though yeah like, well, I use they gotta big know. brand mechanical pencils this is, that, this is it this is where I'm at I found it on the floor before the stream started <laughs> <laughs> it's not mine I just found it on the ground somewhere so that was like I just I needed bare minimum to beat Alex in the stream today. I wanted to give him a fair chance. <laughs> it's always gonna be the go-to, you know. It's fine. Who who knows? Alex could still win this. Oh, I never said that I was actually winning. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Likely story. I don't know what Alex's looks like, so I assume it's way better than what I'm doing. Oh, boy. Part of me wishes you could see it and be like, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm definitely going to trash your shit. But... <laughs> Alex, you are definitely still in this. I think if you just you clean up some of those edges and possibly add color, I think this is a cool concept. Hmm. Why are we talking about Alex being in this? Like, do you see what's going on here? What is going on? <laughs> yeah, not a Babs, lot. Yours looks like it easily could be a finished piece in a couple. Well, it depends on how far of a render detail you're going. Couple for. millennia. Although I must say, for people voting, Babs technically doesn't have geometric shapes in her piece right now. Thank you. I can't do it until it's done. <laughs> How dare you? Well, it will be too late then. Don't, stop reminding her, okay? You're a judge. You're not biased. You can't be like, oh, you just gotta talk to the side. Maybe come in the chat like, pss, pss, by the way. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Something missing. Felix says, Alex was busy talking with his hands. <laughs> Shade noises. Dude, for real. Like, that happened to me last time, so uh -huh. I'm trying to not do that. Alex is definitely a hand talker. I feel like it's hard for you to talk and draw at the same time when you have, like, something important you want to say. Yeah, and it's everything I say is important, so. <laughs> <laughs> See, what happens uh, is, like. I want to I wanna know what your wife thinks about that. Nothing. Uh, Melinda in the chat, could you please comment on this? Melinda would just either, mm, I don't know. I want to see what she says. <laughs> but here's the thing, right? I think that if you don't know me and then you just hear me talking, like if you just came into this chat and you hear like what I'm saying now, you'd be like, wow, what an accent. What a guy that I don't ever want to see or come what across. Like, you know, like. But if you do know me and are around me, you're like, oh, okay, that's just Alex being Alex. I think that's why Sean tolerates me. He's just tolerates like, you? Oh my God, what's going on? He's what's calling me on, out, Alex. You know? He's definitely called me out a couple of times. Just like, I remember like the first, one of the things he said to me mm -hmm. once, Alex, why are you all pissing vinegar right now? Ah, yeah, right. Pissing vinegar, oh, that's such yeah. a cute Sean thing to say. Right? Pissing vinegar. I feel like all these battles just automatically turn into Sean being the <laughs> protagonist. Being the best boy. Well, We're I think everyone would be, because yeah. Because he is the best boy. Everyone would just be cheering for Sean because he's like the Rock Lee of... Yeah, he's the underdog. ...our season. Mm -hmm. um, well, then again, Rock Lee really did train hard, though. I'd have to find it. <laughs> I'd have to think of a different character for Sean. 
<laughs> Perhaps I had to literally stop working for that shade. I feel like I like to do shade that's like really like. Sean's not here. He can't defend himself. Yeah, but before he left this morning, he was like, I'm preparing for it. So I feel like he unintentionally made me want to include him more in the shade. But who knows? Oh, my God. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. It is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, Melinda did So are you just going to look at the screen and be like, Sean, you did this to yourself? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. I would say Sean did this to itself, but that would require effort. (laughs) Oh no, God. I'm kidding. For Sean, those who don't know, I'm, I will continue to defend you. I was gonna say, for those who don't know, Sean's one of my best friends. So like, uh-huh. we do this to each other all the time. Likely <laughs> no, I, story. You know what though? Deep down, he actually likes. He likes this. You like this. That's what you tell. You. <laughs> that's like this. Like that's what the bully tells himself. Like, you know, ah! I think they definitely like this. I'm gonna keep doing it. He has openly I, admitted I to me before that. I don't know if that's what a bully would say definitely want some kind of abuser says says that ah, yeah. <laughs> it's a particular kind of abuser that says that. i don't know i feel like because i live in gay world a lot i feel like throwing shade is such a it's such a term of endearment though no but like for real i feel like if you throw shade at someone it's because you like them like i would never yeah. throw shade at someone i don't know or like we're not that close with so like if i'm throwing shade your way it's like the little kid who's picking on, you know, a kid they have a crush on. It's like, oh, I like you. Aww. Aww. Except for so Sean. I actually just bullied him. have a crush on Sean. <laughs> no, he's the exception. I, I really don't like him or his skill set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Sean. Okay. Aww. Oh, yeah, hold on. We got to catch up here. Just catching up. Uh, Melinda did comment on your thing, Alex, and oh, she did boy. three laughing emoji cry or three laughing and rolling and crying emojis. A lot of emotion. <laughs> A lot of emotion there. Um, Jeremiah says, just dropping by to say congratulations. Well, thank you, Jeremiah. Yes, we are fishing. I don't have a ring yet. Uh, Josh is going to find me one, but yeah, we're very excited. Um, let's see. Oh, here. Josh got... is picking out your ring too. That's so cute. Yeah, because I guess it's weird in gay world because like i proposed to him and i knew what his ring obviously looked like but then actually maybe okay excuse my ignorance how did how does this normally go for like a straight i have couple? no idea but like, i no, told but, but... you how we got married we went to a fucking dmv inside a paper so i don't <laughs> yeah, but, know <laughs> but do you wear a ring no we don't have one we've been meaning to get them i just ugh. well and... then alex how did you and melinda do this did you get her a ring and then did you just get one for yeah. yourself or did she get one for you later uh no I, d- I got her a ring and then we got our rings together for like my ring so like she would buy me a ring or anything you know she would get me a ring so we kind of came with like came up with something we both like because then she gets the ring with the stone and then the band so then our bands match but her ring is obviously different yeah uh, so yeah, okay. it's similar. I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that much different. You know? Okay, then that's not that <laughs> much different. Difference. Yeah, I think I would say the only difference is like I know that in other, <clears throat> like people who are not like cis and you know do it this way, they can either person can propose or not like you yeah. couldn't do it if you were a cis relationship. But I feel like most w- won't. Don't. I don't know. Now I, I'm totally understanding what they mean by your hand talking, Alex, because you literally do stop drawing whenever you put your statement out there. Ask him well, another question. Because this was like, <laughs> I was trying to like articulate. Sometimes I don't articulate how I say what I say or what I, you know, what I'm saying. No, that was good. That was good. I got what so, you were saying. I picked up what you were laying down there. Thank you. Okay, thank wait, you. We, got, we got a lot we got chopped on. Here we go. All right, Tigel saying, last time, in reference to your battle with me, Alex, uh, Tigel says, Alex already did one of these. I don't remember, but then again, he must not be very memorable, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, these people gotta... are doing my job for me. I have a fan <laughs> and a crowd. I'm excited. Um, Melinda says, Alex says a lot of things, but what's important and what's not is up to the victim. I mean, the listener. <laughs> I like Melinda already. I can't wait to meet her. Um, yeah. And then 
Uh, Cozy says, it's so confusing to hear someone as talented as Babs dislike their art. I hope you learn to see your creations with the love and awe we all experience when witnessing your creativity, Babs. Oh, no. Don't Man, make the... me cry on camera. <laughs> I feel like the it. contrast in the comments towards Alex and Babs are so stark. I'm telling I think because, you. I think because the comments are like, oh, Alex likes to throw sass. I like to throw sass. See, yeah. it's endearing, though. It's like, oh, we're closer now because we can throw sass at each other. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the way that's... I see it, but that's all right. Boulder, baby. Boulder. Uh, Tijo, I don't know how it is in Belgium, but at least I think a traditional American custom, when you engage with someone, that's going to be the diamond ring. Like, that's the fancy yeah. one. And then when you get married, they just do a band. So, like, a kind of boring-looking one that goes either above or below it. Oh, boring. Oh, I uh, thought it was the other way around. No, what? yeah. It's... I I don't fucking know. How Babs, come is. on. When think Are about what, like when you see people get engaged on TV and movies, like it's the the diamond ring, you know. I don't know. I don't really pay attention. I guess. I can tell. <laughs> I never wanted to get married. It was very surprising for me that I like actually found somebody that I was like, yeah, this, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, you do. Like for a together. long time, I was like. Ew. Like, I have to... Like, because marriage is so complicated. And then when it doesn't work, you have to get divorced. And it's like, well, that sounds like hell. Why would I put myself through that? Why would I do that to myself? Yeah. But then you actually meet somebody that you like, and you're like, well, I suppose I'll make an exception for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sort of. It is kind of like, when you think about marriage, like, when you really think about it, it is kind of weird, because you're like committing to someone in a way that's like i am yours it's like, legal commitment though it's a that's legal what commitment. really freaks me out because it's like you share everything with that person now mm -hmm. i mean i i think it's endearing i like it <laughs> well no i like it too i'm i'm really happy that i'm married but like that's what scared me so much about it at first the legal mm. side of it like i don't yeah. know I mean, here's hoping Josh and I will still legally be able to do it in a few years. Oh my God! They. No, nope, we're not. We're not even getting into it. We're not getting into it. Not getting into it. Not getting into it. What's the time yeah. like? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no. uh, we have 33 minutes remaining. Right. 33 minutes. All right. I'll I'll add the geometric patterns now. I think I've done enough detail on this. You better, Alice. You're not getting my vote, Babs. Alex is adding some geometric. I mean, I'm I'm looking at the prompts and who executed the prompts better. I know that Jesus. <laughs> um, so someone, uh, Corey, hey Corey, says we got each other rings when we decided we were gonna get married, but the one I got Anthony came first, so I had more time and ended up proposing first. So he's also mm -hmm. in a gay relationship. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think me and Josh just kind of knew I'd be the one proposing. I don't think it was ever something we like really talked about, but I think we just kind of knew. Um, and I think I'm, <laughs> he would definitely agree to this. I think I'm way better at surprises than he is. So <laughs> it would have been interesting him trying to surprise me with a proposal. Um, oh, Felix, I agree. Uh, Felix says, my boyfriend has been asking me what kinds of rings I like, but I don't wear, or I don't like wearing rings or watches. So I don't know. Neither do I. I never wear rings or anything, even though I love them. And I love drawing characters with like a bunch of gaudy rings and accessories and bracelets, but I, it's yeah. weird because I'm always working with my hands, so I always feel like they just get in the way. So I'm going to really have to get used to wearing a ring on one of my fingers. You don't notice it. You're not a lefty, though, right? So then you won't notice it, really. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. I forget I have it on. Um, but yeah, I did ask. I mean, you do a lot of, like, you definitely do a lot of spy work. You're like, oh, well, you know, silver or gold, like, any, you know kind of cut that you hate from yeah. the you know, just like just little things but just with enough time in advance to kind of give you an idea of what to get and what not to get uh because that would be the worst you know but ultimately it's not about the ring it's not about you know any of that stuff True. so i, I know i found like, a what I thought was a cool, it was a gold spinning ring and it was 10 bucks on Amazon. I was like, Josh, this is good. He's like, or 
No, I was with my, my other best friend, Kat. She's like, Tim, you are not getting a spinning $10 ring as your wedding <laughs> ring. <laughs> I was like, why not? I don't know. I'm kind of into it. Oh, Dustin says, Sean's a good boy, dot, dot, dot. Yeah. He's a oh. good boy. Okay, that, here's the thing that, about, that. like, throwing shade, though. When you say something like, Sean's a good boy, dot, 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 it's, like, leaving it open for shade to be throwing afterwards. So, like, as soon as I even read that, in my mind, I'm like, Sean's a good boy. Well, you know what? No, I'm not even going to say it. I've thrown too much shade at Sean already. Yeah, throw some shade at us. Um, Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alex is like under the largest tree possible. He couldn't escape the shade if he walked a mile right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like cool. All right. Like. All right, then move aside, Alex. Share some of the shade. Jesus. <laughs> Maybe stop talking with your hands so much. So I have target <laughs> talking with my hands, yeah. But if that's all they got to say, then I guess I'm fine. Right? Uh -huh. Opening that door for it could always be worse. And here they come. I see what Sigil is mm. saying now about, because they're talking about the engagement ring versus a wedding ring thing. So I guess, yeah, men typically wear just a band so they don't really get like an engagement ring as much. I get what yeah. you mean. Okay. But what if you want one? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you can get one for sure. I mean, I got Josh <laughs> one. He's going to get me a spinner, so... <laughs> Dude, I always joke that I would like propose with one of those, um, you know, those machines at Walmart, you put a quarter and then you get the little bubble, the plastic, it's oh, like yeah. a touch upon machine, but like you get little rings and stuff. Mm hmm. Yeah. I always joke or like those like lollipop ring things. A ring pop. Yeah. Ring pop. Yeah. Lollipop ring thing. See, this is what I mean. Um, Josh says, yeah, I would have stumbled so much with the whole thing. Oh, well, don't worry, Josh. I got you. And then you Sing says, Babs, do you always wear your ring? Turns out she doesn't have a ring. Yeah, don't, don't have that problem. Don't have they don't it. need a physical representation of their commitment of love to one another. <laughs> it's just, I mean, we're thinking hearts. of getting one. We just, I don't know. Cause we always like, we want it. Because it's been so much time now that we're like, oh, we should make it something really special. So we'll always look at rings and be like, yeah, this is the one. Ooh, $1,000? Maybe we'll wait on that. I wish it was $1,000. How much was your? Or you don't have to say if you don't want to, actually. I, it was it was more than that, but it wasn't like anything crazy. We We knew that I wanted to get something special, but... I know, oh, whatever. I mean, that sounds really kind of like, oh, it's more expensive, so it has to be. That's <laughs> what special. makes it special. Mm -hmm. No, well, but I want I it to be something that a lot of people have. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And maybe that is the way I approach. We approached it, you know, in that maybe in that sense. Maybe subconsciously, yeah. Yeah. Yes, definitely. But I wanted it to be something, you know, that meant to me something to me that I was kind of putting that kind of like uh, commitment to it, right? And um, yeah, but it wasn't anything astronomically insane that I got myself in like debt, right? Just for this. Um, but I get that, Babs. I totally get it. Um, Tijel says, please, 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 can Sean be the flower girl at the wedding? I would love to see him <laughs> in like a pink tutu or something. Tijel, is, is my wedding a joke to you? <laughs> <laughs> uh Sean will know. No, but Sean sure girl. is. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's what that statement tells me. All I gotta say is, Sean Price, this is called manifestation and um, living yeah. Tim's house and having said what he said, he manifested right. it. No, I think me and Josh talked about this. So uh, his whole side of the family will not even be attending the wedding because they're not supportive of gay marriage. But mm. my Ew. brother and sister have nine kids collectively. So they have two boys and seven girls. So we thought it would be cute if the two boys were the ring bearers and they each hold like one of the rings down the aisle. And then the seven girls, we would all have be our flower girls. And they would just be throwing petals down the aisle. That's mm. so cute. Yeah. Oh, let's see here. And then Felix says, Babs, regarding the geometric shape prompt, I have mountains which are wide on the bottom and thinner on top, so it counts as a triangle. No. No. 
pyramids. No, that's, <laughs> that's organic. Deny that. That's organic. Like the pyramids themselves are geometric. Mountains are just organic shapes. I would not say that does not count. Alex x that one. Um, yeah. Jen says, I'm back. I guess I had to give the main competitor some chance to win. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. love this shade from the chat. I couldn't have done it better myself, Jen. Well, yeah, do you guys have any good shade you can throw Babs away? Question mark. Thank um, God. Also, Fem says, we just throw the shade so Alex needs to climb up the tree to find a spot in the sun and come out on top. So Aww. It makes it's him work been... harder. I appreciate that. You know, I think that it says something. So I take it in the best way you can possibly take it. I'm seeing. Oh, so Casey said uh, their sister-in-law proposed to her boyfriend at the same time he did. So they both got rings. I mean, that's kind of cute. Hmm. Yeah. I thought it would be kind of fun. I saw this TikTok where a guy was taking a picture with the ring with like his girlfriend at the time in the background, like turning away. So he like kept taking photos, and she didn't. Ha she didn't have any idea. Um, I thought about doing that Ren Fair. How funny would that be if, like, Josh was just a few steps ahead of me and I was, like, taking pictures with the ring behind him and he had no idea? Oh. <laughs> Did you? Did you see there was a video of, like, a couple that were, like, the guy was proposing to um, his partner and they were, like, in front of the castle at Disney World and then the, the guy who worked at Disney World, right before he popped a question, he ran through the middle of them and it was like, no, 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 you can't do that here. You know, trying to get him off. I don't know if they were on top of like some stage that was kind of like to be photographed that they were in front of the, like the Disney castle. But the guy was like, mm -mm, you can't do that here. And then like dragged them out. And it was like the weirdest. Yeah, it was insane. Disney had Can to, you like, not apologize get engaged at them. Disney? Hmm? Can you not get engaged at Disney? I, I don't remember exactly what the reason it was. I, I really do think it's because they were using a specific stage that I, I don't know. I don't know. But that guy was sent to desk work after this situation apparently but yeah that was insane yeah i didn't know that the weird uh, thing is is that he was probably told by somebody that he can't uh -huh. let people do that and then disney was like how dare you yeah follow <laughs> like, orders you? yeah i was like what are you desk doing? work to you peasant right I think that's why they didn't fire him because they were like, I know we told you to do this, but now that it's backfired on us, we can't let you go, but you can't be out there either. Sorry. So it's yeah. got to look like we, you know, slapped your hands or whatever, slapping the just wrist. I don't see a company like Disney taking any fault, though. I just feel like they'd be like, how dare you ruin the magic? Oh, of course. They'll be like, that's an employee. Yeah. Yeah. Also, like, sorry, I had to add a little house. A little bit. Oh, got God. the cabin in there all along. Are you serious? Baby. With like 20 minutes to go? It's just a little. I told you, cabins are easy. You can plop one down if you want. Now I have to. <laughs> Alex, now is your time to show everyone what you got with your digital prowess in 22 minutes and 56 seconds. Now I got to draw a cabin, so I got to put a hole on that. <laughs> um, everyone's being cute in the chat. They say they would they would come sit on Josh's side gladly. Um, and also, <laughs> Tigel says, we don't need to throw shade at Babs because it's not cool to pick on someone that's already so far down. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh... And then they're saying apparently at Disney, um, it might be a safety and logistical issue with crowds and could create a big backup. And then apparently saying, saying that it was something about them being on a, the stage itself. So like you're not yeah. allowed to be on the stages, which kind of makes sense actually. Yeah, that does make sense. Oh my gosh, Alex, go that's the do... fastest building. Right, right. That's pretty... So yeah. cool. I didn't think I have it in me, but <laughs> look at that, look at that. With a little bit of shade, you're being pushed to new heights. That's right. Well, geez. Now I feel like a loser for adding my dinky little house. No, no, no. I think it was a great choice. <laughs> All right. 
Mm-mm-mm. Ah, Avenue Teal says, did I not call it in all caps? I told y'all Babs would be pretty much done by the 10 minute point. I'm not done. <gasps> oh, that's scary. I literally thought you were about to spray paint your piece and then I remembered, oh yeah, Matt fixative. You don't use a lighter when you do that? You should try it next time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alex is like, fun. well, maybe it would actually improve the piece. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, man. Now I'm getting roasted. Damn. Grilled. Well, I will do something with this piece to make it tolerable. Just you wait. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Toler sure. Tolerable is the word. Yeah, could you do something? Because right now it's unpalpable. <laughs> right no, now I it's... got an idea. I got, I got, I got ideas. What's also, is that your geometric you shape? Oh, it wasn't working, so I'm just going to add it in white acrylic. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. I was going to say, ah. Uh, keep it. Keep it. I love it. Where is my white? Uh, Fem, Fem says, insert shade, er, insert shade for basically the housing market. It says, if only the housing market these days was just as easy. Yeah. Honestly, though, I think the housing market's finally dipping because uh, Kat, my best friend, bought a house and it was 10000 under the initial asking price. And I'm seeing more price drops now. I think it's because America's possibly going to be entering a recession or like some kind of a down period for a bit. So I think the housing market's finally starting to catch up with that. Hmm. Could be wrong, though. I don't know. Could be. Oh, dang, Babs, you're going to go straight into white paint? Yeah. Holy bold. Got to do something. <laughs> well, you know, I don't have the tools of digital art on my side, so. Well, that was a choice. <laughs> and since Alex is so adamant that he doesn't need those tools, even though he's using them. That I not offer before we came live, that I would work traditionally. <laughs> like, oh no, you're gonna need them. And like, I knew I would need them, but that's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we need to stop roasting ourselves. Alex, you still have 18, but you could add color. You do not stick in this value. You, you have the opportunity. I, see, the, the, the fact that you keep insisting I add color makes me believe that you think I can't win without color. And that's like, I don't know. I think color can elevate a piece. This is com funny coming from me specifically, but I think yeah. color can like elevate a piece. Although I do kind of like the values you have here already. It's making some sense, you know? Yeah. Um, Ara Arding says white on pencil. My shiz right here. <laughs> you know what's funny? Yes. Surprisingly, I don't do this very often. I think because I I haven't tried it. Actually, Babs, I I really should try doing this method more. Where like spraying it with fixative and then pulling yeah. out white. Um, Damn, get your own ideas. <laughs> for the first time in your life, please be original. Jeez. Uh. <laughs> It's like, oh, you know, I've seen people do lasso, so I'm going to do lasso. And now it's like, oh, I see Babs using white. Maybe I'll try it. Yeah, Alex. well, you know, it's called growing, Alex. Some people do it. <laughs> I think I've done enough growing. <laughs> Six feet three, as a matter of fact. I, I hope you know, Alex, because I have my beach volleyball again tonight. I've been actually promoted to being a front row hitter now, just so you know. Oh, God. Is your team that, is your team that bad? <laughs> <laughs> that was going. Oh, that was good. That, that, oh, that was good. Um, no, it turns out I'm actually not bad at jumping. And I didn't realize beach volleyball is a shorter yeah. net. tall aren't you i'm like 511 ish that's tall there, no i don't think it is uh, it can be 
Alex, you need to stop flexing your height. It's a weird flex, man. I'm not flexing my height, <laughs> no, but he's talking about the net height, not my height. At least in the league that we're in. It could be a league for babies, for all I know. But No, I, what does happen sometimes is that the... This is terrible. Uh, what happens sometimes is that because the nets get lower, just do... Is it like a net that's been sitting there, or do they set up the net every time you play? Say that again? Is it a net that's been, like, that's, like, stationed there? Or is it yeah. a net that you set? Okay, yeah. Sometimes they do get a little bit lower because of, like, and they can't tighten them up or, like, get them up higher. But as far as I understand, maybe it's something I didn't know, that the net was lower on sand. But as far as I know, it's not. Actually, Alex, we got another shade on you that's pretty funny. Um... Surprise. Because it was, it was talking about how you were ripping on me for like copying new ideas, and then Fem says, "Babs adds a little house. Alex adds a bigger house next to it. New idea alert." <laughs> hey, I just wanted to be fair, you know, but I'm still waiting for this geometrical. <laughs> yeah, Babs, pattern. you got your okay. We're in three seconds. We're down to 15 minutes left. You better add that geometric pattern now. Uh, technically, I already have it because she has geometric stuff on her forehead. So, oh, you didn't say how if big I it had to be. See, if I could see the two inches by two inches <laughs> that you're doing over there, but I can't. So, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm not the one judging this thing. Um, Sang says, uh, adding one spot color would be cool, Alex. Yeah, I did that last time, and it got me real, real far. <laughs> no, it's a good idea. I mean, I that's kind of how I work a lot anyway. So, Oh, gosh. Dustin, I know what I'm going to do. Shade. Let's see here. Ara says, Babs confidence with that brush, though. Flat brush all the way. I love yeah, you did kind of just, you literally did just attack your piece pretty aggressively and confidently. That was impressive. Yeah, flat brush is the way to go. I respect that. There you go, Alex. This is this is what we needed. <laughs> yes. Keep yes. Pour it on. <laughs> Do you know what's funny about being it's cause I'm reading Felix's comment about um being like drawn to black and white art. But what's funny is when I buy art for Josh and I's house, like I feel drawn almost entirely specifically to color pieces. Mm. Isn't that weird? That is yeah. weird. Uh, I can see that, though. Babs, do you buy black and white stuff, or do you buy color? I buy both. Mm. Yeah. Like, I definitely have some um, of Alan Williams and Jeremy Bastion's, but I would say most of what we have hung up are color pieces. And we really want a big, original Annie Stagg in our back room, but that would be oil color mm, i see um yeah let me know when you want that piece that i made that you haven't asked to buy yet but i know you will so wait, wait what are you it. talking about <laughs> what am i missing no nothing 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 what you're saying about all this artwork you're about to buy so i said i know you're about to buy something oh, from me oh yes no. of course actually i do want one of your pieces hung up i decided i want one of like all my friends that i have somewhere in the house um i think it'd be really cute if we put it in the guest room so that like all the people that's all the friends that we have that do art that stay in our guest room would have like a piece of theirs in that room oh well, that's so cute yeah right? it feels great idea. to know that the only reason you wanted the piece is because we're friends um i didn't say i'd hang up your pieces <laughs> you just said that's what you wanted you can't back out of that and try to be uh, uh, i know i couldn't re i can't yeah. back down in my joke Good try though yeah Good try i should have just said i i wouldn't hang up sean's piece then oh come but on he's he's gone through enough poor sean leave sean alone uh, Fem says, Alex making the piece yellow to score jury points with Tim. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you know what's funny, though, is in college, yellow was actually my least favorite color. I actually really disdained the color yellow or had disdain for it. 
I still am not a big fan of like neon bright yellow. I still think that's in my like category of least favorite colors ever. But I would say as a whole, I know this is probably not great um, for those who like this color, but my least favorite color is definitely the blue range. I don't like blues that much. Uh, I love blue. Greens? Blues. What don't you like? Mm. Like there, I definitely like a good cotton candy blue, and there's definitely fun moments with like cyan, but just RGB blue, for some reason, I'm just not into it. Mm. Like Babs tape right now, I'm not a big fan of that that color. Oh, well, like, I hate this kind of blue. Yeah, yeah I, I don't do like that color. Blue. Yeah. That's like boy car blue, <laughs> you know? Like fast. Fast car, fast and You said boy blue. car blue? <laughs> yeah, that's like, yeah. It's like an electric blue. Like, it's not, yeah. I, don't I feel like it. if you're going to be painting with the primary RG or the red, yellow, blue color, I feel you have to do it in a way that's creative. Otherwise, I'm just not a big fan of the primaries. Like, even red, I need it to be more of like a blood red, more so than like a bright red. You know what I mean? I do feel like your opinion of my Ronnie piece changed when you figured out it was just the three primary colors. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, for those who don't know what we're talking about, I'm going to link. Babs did a fan art piece of the game Elden Ring. Maybe you've heard of it in the chat. And it is, to this day, I still think the best uh, fan art of this character. I don't know. There wasn't enough, you know. Other colors. <laughs> <laughs> Too many primaries. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, you know what? It's probably I was gonna say something stupid, but honestly, you know, that's everything I say. But in reality, <laughs> the I like it a lot because it's like clean too and it's not like super sexualized. And I feel like they've been doing a lot of that, you know, with the game oh, and a lot the, of yeah. big titties. You know, characters and like yeah. Ronnie's it's like, come on, dude, it's like the one thing that you you know, don't do it. Well, and especially for that character, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't matter. You know, they just don't give a damn. Mm -hmm. Want those titties. Yeah, just can't be helped. Felix says, Alex, throw a gradient map and some adjustment layers on top, and that counts as colored. Bam. I mean, yeah. I, what I have counts as color. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Time. Ah, <laughs> Man, chat, you have been wonderful today with these comments. This one's pretty funny too. It says Fem uh or Fem says Von Art putting the friends art in the guest room for wholesome reasons, but in reality it's so he doesn't have to look at it a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, probably. I can I can believe that. Okay, oh here's the question though. Do you hang all the art that you buy? Mm -hmm. I don't I buy a lot of art. I was gonna say I don't buy a lot. I get a lot of people giving me their art. Um, oh, and I don't want to say this live on camera. I know no, I'm not going to, say, to. But just right. tell me, do you do you? So you don't buy a lot of art. So you hang it then. I will start hanging more art. I do have a lot that I want to get framed. I used to just put the sticky tack behind my prints and then put it on the wall, but. I, know, I think I'm at a point in my fast. life where I kind of like it framed now. I think, I, I don't know. It feels too college to me. I mean, I say that, but, but then the room I'm in have like the string lights on the, the ceiling here. So who am I to judge? Dude, when string I saw that on your though. wall, they it killed cute. me. The what? When I saw like your hallway going up yeah. the steps with like all the art just taped there, I was like, <gasps> yes. No, I see. I don't like that anymore. I I want to get frames okay. for all of it, but frames are so expensive. So I think my new thing is I'm just gonna go to Goodwill and kind of find frames that fit it. Oh, that's what then... I do. Oh, is that what you do too? Yeah, I go to Goodwill a ton. Another stolen idea. But it's so much easier than just to get a mat and then you can cut it to fit whatever part of the piece doesn't fit the frame. You know? Yeah, you can order custom mat too. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's true. Wait, do you yeah. have a good website for that? I feel like I don't know any. No, I mean, I've had it from some, but I don't know that necessarily, like, it's a good website, you know, but um, the, what was I going to say? Yeah, I have, like, some art hung in, and I have some stuff that is, like, in a portfolio, which I like to keep as a book. So not all art I want to hang, but yeah. I want to own it, too. So I want to keep it, like, and once in a while, I like, go through that portfolio. So, 
Yeah, that's why I was asking. Yeah, I'm definitely far more attracted to art books than I am actual art pieces. It's like I'm making my own art book. There you go. Mm hmm. And despite the way that people have been throwing shade, I actually think, Alex, your art book's going to be bomb. It's going to be so good. If it ever happens, thank you. Yeah, it will. <laughs> uh, it better happen. What do you mean, if it happens? Yeah, yeah, you just said you were making it. What the heck? Yeah. No. Yeah, it's true. I think next year is going to be a very different year for my career, and I think it's definitely going to ramp up on a lot of stuff. So I'm excited for it. Yeah, so for those who may not know, Alex is kind of undertaking a lot of freelance work on top of a full-time job, on top of doing conventions, on top of doing his original work. And it's a lot. And he's married and with two dogs. So it's like, and yeah. still plays beach volleyball. So it's like too much. <laughs> if if you had a plate with all the things you'd have on it, you wouldn't be able to see the plate anymore. <laughs> yeah, we talk about that all the time. So I'm, I'm looking forward to when Alex quits his full-time job and... Um, commits to more of this independent art style of life because you definitely have the quality, you definitely have the work for it. I think it's just kind of finishing up the commitments that you already agreed to. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, you just gotta have that sass, right? That's why I hang out with y'all. Right? That's all you need. <laughs> that little sense of blind confidence that came from nowhere. Also, we are approaching the five minute mark right Excellent. now. All right. You guys better bring it. This is it. Babs, get those geometric patterns. They're already Still. all there. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Jeez. I didn't use a lot of them, but you know, enough, right? <laughs> I plan on finishing that other piece that I did when we had our whatever that was. If you want to call it a battle, we can call that a battle. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I definitely plan on finishing that. So I'm going to definitely take this one too because i i think it's a cool might change some things for sure but um it's a cool concept here wait i think for the last five minutes all you guys focus a little bit more on your drawing and i'll get through some of these comments My cat. My cat so, one from chris says i feel like such a fanboy asking this and you don't need to answer but how did you all become friends um so babs and alex pay me 10 bucks a week to be friends with them <laughs> And I've been making a lot of money from all these people, so I'm going to keep doing this for as long as I can. I think most of the friends that I've met nowadays have been at conventions, honestly. Like, yeah, me and Alex met... Yeah, I met Babs at C2E2, and apparently I met you at a different con, but when we really started talking about C2E2 and then Colorado Springs... Comic Wait, con we met at when... a different con? I feel like I went up to your booth at a different con, but you probably don't remember me. Ooh. Ah. but I, I i definitely remember at c2e2 we had more of a conversation well you came up to me and like talked i came to up me. to your booth i feel like that's my favorite thing to do at cons is like meet new artists so most of the friends i have nowadays are like artists that i'm really attracted to their art and i'm like we should hang out <laughs> um because it's really fun being able to talk to artists where it's like they're not trying to gain anything besides how do i explain this right I feel like sometimes when um, younger artists will try to befriend established artists, it's usually more of like, a, I want to gain something from you rather than it being a give and take. But when you meet someone who's already like successful in their field or their career, I feel like they're not trying to gain anything from you necessarily. They just want to like hang out and there's a relatability there that you don't get a lot with people, especially if they're not in your field. It's really hard for me to relate to someone that doesn't do cons constantly, isn't driven by doing artwork um, senselessly throughout the night. Um, and being able to find those people is really important. So anyways, I met Babs at a con. I met Sean at a con. I met Key at a con. I met basically every one of my friends at a con. And then Alex, surprisingly, was not at a con, but it was at an art workshop. And at the time, I was a mentor. He was a mentee. But I feel like we didn't hit it off until we were both at the airport together uh, waiting for our flight and then we talked some more and then mm -hmm. we you got added onto our discord for the con artists and then it was through 2020 that you reached out and was like hey do you want to talk some more basically um and that's where it went from there and then once we learned that we both like a good competitive you know rifling of each other's feathers uh it just it fit perfectly and now we kind of have this like good group of friends that 
um, as you've been seeing on the stream. We like to, uh, you know, give each other some good shade, but it's all out of love. I, I love all of our art friends. I think I got really lucky with this group of people, and uh, we're going to continue battling each other to the death because of it. Yes. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Yeah. I got a lot of people saying DIY frames are the way to go. A lot of people have uh, parts of their house. Tizzle has one he calls the gallery. It's like a little, a really long hallway. Nice. That's um, awesome. That's a dream. That's goals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he has a lot of original art, and he puts it all there. Hell uh, yeah. Let's see here. None of that digital crap. <laughs> 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 Tish, I'll get out of here. I'm not reading that. <laughs> um, all right, you guys are down to 30-some seconds. Put in okay. those final touches. And then as we are finishing up, if uh, you guys could wait just a minute, because I'm going to have Babs and Alex send me a final JPEG or PNG of their piece. And that way I can put it up side by side before the voting begins, because if I don't, um, I might win out of... A technical issue again, which I don't want that <clears> happening. <laughs> oh, Babs, you got to peel it. You got eight seconds or else you got to leave the ble blue tape on. <laughs> All right. All right. Time. <gasps> there. Let me just tape it onto the wood. Did you, did you turn your off. camera off so you could rip the last blue tape? <laughs> no. Did it turn off? Yeah. Is it off? Yeah, so, I don't know. It sounds like I win by default. Jesus Christ! Oh my God, it just died. Oh, I actually. Well, whatever. I'll scan it in real quick. Weirdly but... perfect timing. All right, so Alex, could you send me a JPEG of yours, and then Babs, as soon as you scan it, send it over, and then for those of you who are watching, I will get the poll. And remember, we are voting. So for those of you who came in late to the stream, so I am not the one jurying this. Well, I do have a vote, but it is a public peer vote. So I need you guys to vote on who you believed did a, the best technical, creative, or original, or all three, execution of the four prompts Sorceress, Owls, Mountains, and Geometric Pattern. All right, let me turn this off so you guys <laughs> aren't sharing the... Hold on. There we go. <laughs> I was seeing like a little clip of Alex's head. I'll move this over. Oh, I can see a little. Oh, I can see yeah. it now. Oh, that is really cool, Alex. Oh, thanks, Babs. <laughs> this is very begrudging things. I thought for sure you guys would be throwing more insults at each other. <laughs> it's what? hard for me to throw no, insults in public. No, there was a lot of there was a lot going on. I don't want these chat people to think I'm a monster. You don't want I mean, the truth to come granted, out. Granted, yeah, <laughs> I am. So. Come. Okay. So then let me see here. So Alex, I'm gonna end this stream that is on Discord and I'll wait for that image. All right, okay, I'm scanning so... it right now. Sorry for the wait. Oh no, you oh, are good. Boy. Still or it's cheating. Alex's. All right, let me get Alex's image up first. Alex image. <laughs> it's called the winner.jpg. <laughs> Oh, that was good. See. All right, so I'm going to resize it and format it so that is on both of their sides. So if you want to vote for Alex, his will be on the right, obviously. If you want to vote for Babs, hers will be on the left. Oh, Alex, I might make yours a little... There we go. So people can see it better. All right, just waiting on you, Babs. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where it's safe. <laughs> oh, I really should have uh, organized this better. Right, oh, yes. And for everyone else that kind of followed along during the stream, I forgot that you can also post in our uh, community discord. 
and let me see. Oh, all right, let me share. How do I do this? I'm gonna share my Cintiq, double babs. All right, so here are some of the community ones. So this one's from Corinna. Oh, let me get that back up. Said, don't know how good the photo is, but yay, got something done in time. Also, congratulations on your engagement. Wish you all luck in the world. Well, thank you so much. And also, great profile. This is fun. Where are we uploading this again? I can just send it on our Discord. Okay. And then Eric's, this is their Sorceress of the Smoky Mountains. Ooh. Without the red. Looks like we might be the ones losing 50 bucks. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, Tizzle. So, man, you were able to comment and throw that much shade? Oh, I like the geometric patterns. Oh, I like that. They're like portals into different areas, and the mountains are seen in one of them. Where is this image? Man, Tizzle, you and Alex with these talents. You have a, a thing for it. And then Barbara, my sorceress of Tora's stream. Oh, I love this. The back of her cloth. The geometric patterns turn into the mountains. Well, that's nice. Oh, it's so dark on the street. I'm so sorry. Oh, and Tigel does a better Where did one. This save? I mean, admittedly, this would definitely be a prompt list that I would totally jump in on. It's a very fun uh, oh, design. Oh, I like that sure. mountain into geometric. See, yeah, that's a cool way. Yeah. That's a cool interpretation. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. When I like Tigel's, like, the geometric patterns were portals, and then that's where the mountain was within. Yeah. Oh, that's the one. Okay, yeah. I was, like, not sure. But I like the multiple hands, too. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Arms. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Babs, you focus on sending me the photo. <laughs> I did. Oh, you did. Oh, Tim, get yeah, it together. Yeah, on Discord. Where? Where? In the... Oh, shit. This is the wrong <laughs> chat. Sorry. Oh, boy. Babs is trying to delay the voting places. here. Here we go. No, sorry. Sorry, sorry. There it is. There it is. <laughs> All right, let me download this. Okay. And I'm going to put yours on the left here. Are you guys ready to vote? I'm going to grab this image. <laughs> oh Babs' God. file name is fgdjsxdfgfgfgfgfhj.png. Thank you, Babs. Don't worry about the name. Don't worry about the name. <laughs> okay. Let's move it here. My vote goes to Sean. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Dustin. Uh. <laughs> Come on, Dustin. We're not giving to charity today. Damn like it, what Babs. you did with the sleeves, Alex. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to get the poll up. Who won this battle? That's, that's pretty good. That was crazy. I mean, all Ooh. right. Okay. It's so odd, right? It's crazy, like how sometimes work. It's just like those last few details, like really makes it all crazy pop. But yeah, hmm. and the okay. Uh, ooh, okay, I see what you did. Right. With the it. poll is officially out. Oh, this makes me so nervous. I can't even look. Uh, I'm not oh, voting. Jen says, Tim, wait cheap. to vote until last because you might have to break the tie. You know what? That's a great idea. Yeah, and then Fem true. says, now they sweet talk for the votes. <laughs> <laughs> Jen says, Babs, it's your skills that make us think you are a monster. I'm Chris writing. says, this is difficult. They are both beautiful. You should both be proud either way. Thank you. Aww. <laughs> I do love your castle more than my house, though, Alex, I got to say. All I gotta say about that is that it's your fault because you drew a house. <laughs> I did this I to myself. I did this to myself. It is very cool though. And then one last reminder, if you're voting, just remember you're voting on the technical creative originality of the four prompts, sorceress, owl, mountains, or and geometrical pattern. 
and whoever wins gets 50 bucks. Make a count. <laughs> Just leave that. Buckaroonies. <laughs> Very creative ideas. Jen says, bonus points see. if you have a story associated with the pick. Actually, yeah, do you each want to give a little what's happening in your piece? All right, Babs, you drew the rock, so you go first. Uh, so I wanted to do a woman that uses owls as, like, vessels for her magic. Because, like, you know how people use, like, staves or wands? I wanted her to use, like, the actual owl familiar. So that's why, like, the owl's face is coming off and all these branches are being revealed. Because that's where the money or not, <laughs> I just saw the money that's pop up. That's where the money's at? <laughs> that's where the magic comes from. <laughs> she, like, takes her owls, and through the owls, she'll, like, Freudian do slip. her sorceries. I do love that story, though. Yeah, that's where the money's at. That's all yeah. I got. <laughs> well, it's like, you know, they're, like, almost, like, jars, and she'll, like, remove their faces magically, and through there, she'll mm -hmm. sprout illusions or whatever magic she needs. Okay, okay. Someone's asking, is that their home in the background of the pics? Is it what? I actually feel like my woman's nomadic, and whoever lives in that house is like, oh, God, please don't stay here. <laughs> please keep moving. It gives me like a, uh, what's that, um, film in studio, A24? Or is that, yeah. Is that yeah, it gives me that vibe. It's like, you know, the stories about the people living in that house and then your woman, your your character, sorceress, is like outside. I can hear the music they put like really well. Yes, it's... Casey, it is like a magical owl purse. <laughs> magical owl purse. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, for my, I guess, um, it developed as I was going with it, but I thought it would be really cool for this sorceress to use the power to kind of turn into like some owl mystical creature out of the eye on the um, um, staff, right? So then it's holding this, the eye from the owl on the mm. staff. And then, you know, it kind of has this a transformation. I thought I kind of pushed that further with the, um, the staff at the bottom that's kind of like the focus there you kind of have that big eye in the middle of her back um and i kind of wanted to throw some interesting landscape but still mimicking those shapes like circles and twirls of the magic um that waterfall being like this depth i don't know i thought it was like a fun cool way to add a background i guess mm-hmm yeah, we'll give six more minutes for voting. So I usually do 10 minutes of a voting thing. Um, but Tishel says, Babs, if you lose, I'll buy your piece for $50. But if you win, <laughs> I'll buy it and still double your winnings by giving $50. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll sell it. I'll put it on my Etsy some, sometime today. <laughs> Babs, you could just make $100 today if you win this. <laughs> if. 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 I can it's, see it. Uh, this makes me nervous. I don't like this. The voting <laughs> see, process? <laughs> well, okay. You guys watch the Great British Bake Off and like Drag Race and stuff like that, right? And when it gets to like the last moment, they're all like shaking and trembling and you're like, come on, get it together. And now I'm just like, no. Now I know why. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like at that moment when they're like, oh, you have 30 seconds left or five minutes left, then for some reason, your brain just goes forgets that you just spent two hours working on this thing and you're like, well, where did the time go? What do you mean five minutes? And then you're rushing to make it work or not. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's interesting that people are commenting on what they, what elements they thought you guys were strong or weak in because they think Alex was tr weaker in the owls in the mountains, but Babs, the geometric shapes are barely visible. Oh my God. Yeah, that is true. I will take that. I like the geometric shapes. Uh, Doing them with powdered <gasps> graphite is always difficult, and I don't know why I thought I could do it last minute. Wait, <laughs> hold on. There's a baby deer in our backyard. Hold on. Ooh, and the stream is interrupted by nature. <laughs> <gasps> I love it. Yeah, I, I think if I had like better reference, I think I could see. 
powder reference. I could have done a better um, owl staff. I think it's a little top heavy, but. Um, you have a bunch of owl wings. I see the owl. I know, and the and the the owl talon and the hand that's the turning. But you know, I totally can see that. I try to add more details in the way that they're like feathers are get really round on the edge of the cloak and then closer to the top as well on the hood. But no, I can hey, see that. Though. Quick question: Do ear deers eat apples? I would assume so, but I don't know, and I'm gonna Google it. Because this baby deer looks lost. And I'm like, mm. we could feed it. Yes, deers love apples <gasps> and other vegetables Josh. and fruits. Josh, can you throw the deer one of our apples? <laughs> I'm afraid that he got separated or she, and I don't know if they're hungry. Sorry. <laughs> I've, I've never seen a baby deer in our backyard because we're like on a hill. So like we rarely see it. They're in the fridge. Now we got three more minutes. Get your votes in. Jen says, Alex's picture makes me think of something that could work in a Terry Pratchett novel. Why do I know that name? Oh, I think my husband reads those novels. Terry Pratchett. Yeah, why do I know this? I genuinely don't think I know any of these. Hmm. You'll have to recommend what you think is the best Terry Pratchett one, and then I'll look it up. How about that? I can kind of see it. <laughs> Poor Josh. <laughs> I should take a video of this. He's walking in our neighbor's backyard right now with an apple. <laughs> <laughs> He looks a little crazy, though. That's Organic. so cute. Organic. You and Josh make such a perfect couple. Like, oh. when I told Dave about your engagement, he was like, Tim was the son, wasn't he? Like, when I described <laughs> that you guys were dressed up as the sun in the moon, he was like, Tim was definitely the sun, right? And I was like, yeah. oh, yeah. No other way. Yeah, Josh is the mysterious, more quiet one. I did love the geometric, like, patterns on the his the moon like fabric that you use and the more like ornate swirly oh you stuff. saw that yeah i did see that i was like ah yeah uh, right right you saw that <laughs> so, so i'm watching um jen says or wait where was that barbara says they are both wonderful and the prompts are represented in various degrees so i can't help but vote for the one that i'm most drawn towards oh wait hold on josh is calling me to come over <laughs> What's that's that? the way i would do it you know for sure. Oh, take a picture. Take a video. Kind of. Our, Josh our baby deer, deer is eating the apple. Deer. Oh. <laughs> this is so cute. Enough of our shitty art. Put the baby deer on the stream. Right. <laughs> Can we adopt the deer? <laughs> uh, Casey says Alex feels like if they tried to make Owl House a serious Game of Thrones style story. <laughs> <laughs> Good omens. Just the first six seasons or five seasons of Game of Thrones, I hope. Yeah, right. The the baby deer is gonna win, obviously, says Anra. Uh yeah, for sure. You know what's weird is it won't let me vote on the poll. I thought it would let me. Oh, keeping it fair. Right? But what if we need a tiebreaker? There's not going to be a tiebreaker. <laughs> yeah, it looks I'm like this one. I'm win, but I'm telling you, there's not going to be a tiebreaker. If you are watching and haven't voted, you got 10 seconds left. And I think this one's going to be going to Babs. Yep. No comment. All right. We're ending the poll. Officially, congratulations, Babs. You have won fifty dollars. <laughs> hundred, possibly. Possibly a hundred if you put it on possibly Etsy. Hundred, yeah. Ah, uh, how nerve-wracking, Alex. How have you done this twice? I don't know. 
but I think this might be my retirement one. <laughs> no, Alex, you need to battle Sean at least. Uh, Wait, Alex, we could do a rematch. No, no, no. It's okay. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, you just sweat a lot, you know? <laughs> I'm very sweaty right now. <laughs> also, I like your piece, Alex. Yeah, I oh, love wait. his bees. Tigel says, okay, as you know, this never happens, but I'm going to get serious for a split second. Both of these are absolutely amazing, and I love them. Good job, guys. Okay, back to trolling. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> No. no. Thank you so much, Babs and Alex, for being a part of this. Obviously, this is a very competitive, vulnerable position to be in, and you both did amazing, as I would expect. Um, not as much back-talking between the two of you as much as the comments in, the two, and specifically <laughs> Alex, but this was really fun. <laughs> Them says Alex for all-stars. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, so thank you guys so much for coming and watching. This is so much fun for me to host. And thank you so much, Babs and Alex, for being here. I hope to see you again in the arena in the future. Um, Alex, do not let this be your retirement video. We need I'm more of Alex in the future. Um, if you want, we can put you against Sean for an easy win. And no. we can move from there. <laughs> see, this, yeah, I knew. I was like, no. Oh, my God. I didn't no. say who it would be an easy win for, mind you. Oh, okay. Babs. So you interpreted that. <laughs> you know how you said that. I, I yeah, right. I implied it heavily. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you guys so much for coming to this live stream, and hopefully we'll see you next week. And I think we have our next battle. I think it's in a couple weeks, and I think we have Dustin. I forgot, Dustin, who you're versing, but you are versing someone. I got to double check. Dang. <laughs> Is it saying? Is it Dustin saying? And then I also Dustin, have yeah. uh, Key against Victor yeah, in August. Oh, I can't so wait be to see that good. one. So if we, yeah, so we'll probably do like two a month. That's what I'm kind of planning. So yeah, you guys might see Babs and Alex in the future. Okay. Any last words between you guys? Um, uh, this was. Te amo, crap. hermano. No, 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 no. Sí, sí. No, no. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, perfect. And remember, you can follow Babs and Alex below. There's a link to their Instagram and their shop. And yeah, hopefully we'll see you next time. Okay, take care everyone. Bye, 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 bye.